Hello and welcome back to another character creation video. My name is Lumen and right now we're jumping into EVE Online. This is a pretty big one. I've actually been waiting for a long time to cover this game. I'm excited. There's a lot here to look at. So EVE Online has been around for a very long time. They have reimagined the character creation system a bunch of times. Their latest iteration is looking pretty fantastic. I jumped in to have a quick peek at it. There's just a lot. So this is going to be a long video but I'm going to try and cover everything in it and hopefully they don't change too much anytime soon because man it's different from when I first looked at it and this game has again it's been around for so 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 long. Nowadays you can make some pretty cool looking characters so we're going to jump in and the way we're going to do this is we actually going to jump into the previews of each of the empires before we do the customization just so that you can see perhaps what you'd pick based on what they give you if you understand if that makes sense to you so each of them will give a little breakdown of the kinds of ships they have they'll give you a little breakdown of their political situation and a bunch of other stuff that is important in a game like eve online so we're going to have a look at these empires here it's the mr minmatar kaldari and galente check their previews out and then after that we'll go through them one at a time we will have a look at the bloodlines in each of them and look at the customization options for each of those bloodlines. Yeah, there's a lot. There is a lot. So you're going to want to use the timestamps in the video description. They'll take you where you want to go. If you want to see anything specific, check them out. Now, let's get started. We're going to check out the MR first. As I was saying, they give you a little preview of the kinds of ships that you can expect. I don't think you're going to be starting with any one of these. I don't think you get to pick. Uh, I, I, if memory serves, you might start with this one over here, the Magnate. I am not 100% sure. They have changed the new player experience quite a lot. I don't know if you perhaps nowadays get to actually pick the one you want. Not sure. I've not been playing this game, even though it's like a lifelong dream of mine to jump into EVE Online and actually just, you know live in this world instead of the one we're in right now that's, <laughs> that's something i might put off for a little while longer we'll see we'll see we'll see it's still my theory by the way that eve online is one day going to take over the world this will be the world one day so on amar we have all these ships we have the apocalypse a well-armored battleship that forms the basis of most combat fleets we have the magnate specialized frigate designed for scouting and exploration this over here is the crucifier it's a high-tech hull Designed to disrupt the electronic systems and weapons and other ships. The Imperor. That's a new pilot's first ship. Oh, well, there you go. That answers the question. Can be utilized for basic mining, combat, and exploration duties. That is a pretty cool looking first ship. I like it. That's pretty sick. I'm almost certain you used to start with this one. Anyway. Bestower. Cargo vessel used to transport large volumes of goods across the universe. And I think that that one might be bigger than it seems here. That might be like in the distance. Hmm. Not sure. Not sure. Then, you get to actually look over here at the offense and defense. Amar Empire technology. Their fleet is renowned across New Eden for weapons, efficiency, and impressive armor. With the proper skill training, the capable pilots can fly any ship, even those not of Amar design. They have energy weapons and armor tanks i'm not sure our energy weapons deliver punishing firepower while avoiding delays caused by frequent reloading and then the armor tank modules designed to increase armor durability have made our fleet the most well armored in the cluster cool then the next choice here and i'm just going to show you what it looks like quickly this is the um <laughs> the one i know the least about this is the politics I say I'm just going to show it to you because I'm not sure all of this matters too much. I guess I can read it. Uh, I can go through it quickly and I can be thorough so that you guys don't have to uh, worry about it so that you can know what you're getting into. It's like I'm a little daunted by anything politics in video games. I've been playing games for a long time. I avoid politics, but this is part of the actual game world. This is what you're here for, right? So I guess we all care about it. Amar Empire. We the chosen people tasked to reclaim the universe in the name of God. Through the ages, our holy empire's might and power has been upheld by our faith and obedience to the imperial throne. As our empress commands, we shall spread the glory of Amar across the stars. 
Hmm. So the Empire's enemy is the Minmatar. They denied the blessing of their ho holy servitude with their rebellion against the Empire. We will restore the nature and order of the universe by crushing their leaders, reclaiming the stars they occupy, and returning their misguided followers to their rightful place. Their pirate enemy, that's the Blood Raiders. They have a cool little logo. Look at that. What the heck? Okay. Nice. It's like a sports team. Tainted by heresy and sin, the Blood Raider Covenant shall face righteous judgment of the one true Lord. The might of the Amar faith is the only weapon powerful enough to end their twisted blood rituals once and for all. So there you go. This is pretty hardcore. And I want to say their faces match. As in like, you know, I look at that face. This is what I see. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. The power of God, the holy empire through the ages. Indeed. Okay. <laughs> That's the Amar done. Let's jump onto the... Is this Minmatar? Yeah. Let's jump onto the Minmatar. Mm. Their ships look super scrappy. I dig it. So, the Tempest. This is a powerful, flexible battleship commonly seen in Mimitar combat fleets. The Vigil. High-tech frigate designed to disrupt electronic systems and weapons and other ships. Seems like we've got a lot of parallels here. Probe. Specialized frigate designed for scouting and exploration. Yeah, okay. I can sort of already understand what this is going to be the hauler, right? The Mammoth. A cargo vessel used to transport large volumes of goods across the universe. And then the Reaper. New pilot's first ship. Can be utilized for basic mining, combat, and exploration duties. Cool. I like that they have those parallels. And just by the way, for anyone maybe wondering, there's a lot more than this in the game. There are hundreds, if not at this point, probably thousands of ships. I don't know. And then also lots of combinations that you can have with different uh, fittings and parts that you can put on the ships. Different skins and paint jobs and all that nonsense. There should probably be a ship customization video at some point on this channel instead of a character customization one because there's so much you can do with them. So, Minmatar Republic Technology. We use hit-and-run tactics to fight when outnumbered. Our vessels are fast and light, allowing us to effectively control engagements. When properly trained, our pilots are capable of flying any ship in the cluster, regardless of its originating empire. All of them seem to say that. They use projectile weapons. They can be used for a wide range of ammunition, uh, with both high damage and long range artillery, rapid fire and short range auto cannons as well. Shield tank, that's the same as the previous one. Active shield tanking allows us to rapidly return to battle while maintaining speed and agility. Oh, okay, okay, it's not exactly the same. Right, right, right. Okay, so these guys are all about like quick hit and run. That's kind of cool. It's nice to see. Let's check their politics out. The Minmatar Republic. After centuries of subjugation, we rose up and cast off our slavers' shackles. Proudly rebuilt the nation of Matar and will freely uh, free every soul still enslaved across the cluster. Together, we'll forge our own destiny at home and among the stars. They are the enemies of the Amar. As you've seen, the Amar must return the people to us. There will be no peace between our empires until the last Min Matar, brother and sister held in slavery, is released. We will never allow the Amar to conquer us again, even if it means a struggle to the death. Their pirate enemy is the Angel Cartel. Dude, the pirates? They have some cool stuff going. Why can't I join one of the pirates? Maybe one day they will release like a pirate expansion where they add like a full four more factions here, all pirates. The Angel Cartel is a dangerous and unpredictable foe. Heavily involved in human trafficking, slavery, and drug trade. It's kind of cool that they are against slavers and slavery and then their pirate enemy is a slaver or, you know, a, a, a human trafficker. So they like stick in with their guns where that's concerned. Their criminal acts represent a clear betrayal of the Matari people and our way of life. We'll make them rue the day they crossed the Republic fleet. So there you go. Min Matar origin. Interesting. Kaldari. These guys. Oof. Interesting looking ships we have here. The Raven. Well shielded missile battleship that is the backbone of the Kaldari fleet. The Griffin, high-tech frigate designed to disrupt electronic systems and weapons and other ships. Ibis, new pilot's first ship, can be utilized for basic mining, combat, and exploration. Also, kind of cool. They give us nice ships. This is the Badger. It's a cargo vessel used to transport large volumes of goods across the universe. And the Heron, specialized frigate designed for scouting and exploration. Oh, it's all birds. Ha! Huh. Yeah, these are all birds. I'm not sure a Badger is a bird. <laughs> But the, the heron, the uh, the raven, the griffin, and the ibis—all birds. Uh, maybe there's a badger bird too. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. 
I'm not, not much of a bird person. I just know this. I realized it. Okay. Kaldari State Technology. As innovators of hybrid weapon technology, we strike from a distance, dominating the battle without sacrificing accuracy. Our pilots can earn the necessary qualifications to fly any vessel. Yes, we know. Hybrid vessels. Deadly combination of guided missile tech and punishing railguns allow us to switch between damage types quickly and efficiently. Shield tank. Our vessels focus on shield repair through the use of both passive recharging and modules designed to actively address damage. Okay, so each of them has like a different way of approaching shielding. It's cool. These two. Look at them. Kaldari State. State. Corporation. Family. These are the three guiding pillars of the Kaldari State. We prioritize and prize hard work, sharp minds, and honorable conduct above all. Through loyal service to our corporations, we gain the wealth for our people and merit for ourselves. Their empire enemy is Kalente. That's the final one we're going to look at. They've unlawfully occupied our homeworld of Kaldari Prime. We defy the occupation. We will defend our settlements to the death. We prefer to trade over war. The Galente's colonial Medlin has left us with no choice but to engage in conflict. <laughs> Their pirate enemy are the Garistas? Interesting. I interesting. It's like death bunnies or something. Founded by deserters of the Kaldari Navy, the Garistas are nothing more than traitors to the state. Their dealings with the black market and human trafficking sully honorable Kaldari trade with violence and greed. I like how they present all of these from the eye of the faction that you pick in. It's a good way to try and sell the faction to you. It's like they're not telling you, it's not, they're not, they're not telling you like uh, everyone's take on on the um, Goristas or everyone's take on the Galente. This is their take, you know. This is a very much subjective uh, take on, on, on pretty much every situation here. Okay, Galente, here we go. The Megathron. Okay, I like the names here. Armored battleship, mainstay of the Galente combat fleets. The Maulus, high-tech frigate designed to disrupt the electronic systems and weapons of other ships. Yes, we know. Imicus, a ship, a specialized frigate designed for scouting and exploration. The Velator, this is a new pilot's first ship. Ha, who'd have guessed? Can be utilized for basic mining, combat, and exploration. And then this long boy over here. Oh, wow. Cargo vessel used to transport large volumes of goods across the universe. How does that even work? You know, I, would, I was about to ask, like, how does that go around corners? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cornering must be a nightmare with that thing, but that's not how space works, Lumen. Please, man, please. Get with the times. Galente Federation Technology. We specialize in close-range combat so that we can defeat our enemies before they have a chance to escape. That's cool. With the right training, they can pilot any ship regardless of Empire affiliation. Blaster weapons and drones. Short-range, high-damage blasters rip through shields and armor with the help of our smart drones. Risky approach, I feel. Armor tank. Heavy armor to our advantage. Our fleet focuses on rapid armor repair. And then politics. Check these guys out. Galente Federation. They represent hundreds of diverse people united by the ideals of freedom and democracy. The pursuit of innovative technologies contribute the most, uh, to the most advanced economy in all of New Eden. Our powerful fleet guards our worlds fr from tyranny. Their empire enemy, Kaldari. The relentless hunger of Kaldari megacorporations puts them at clear odds with the Federation's principles, resulting in years of bloody conflict. will not stand idly by as their policies violate the rights and liberties of individuals in rightful Galente space. Their pirate enemy is Serpentis. Serpentis? After splintering from a once respected Galente research corporation, the Serpentis amassed wealth and power by engaging in illegal narcotic manufacturing. Their alliance with other criminal enterprises makes them a formidable foe. For the Federation Navy. Fantastic. There is so much here right now. So much. Wow. Right, so as you can see up here, our next choice is going to be Bloodline. And that is going to take us to the next part of this video. We're going to start with Amar. Because why not? We're going to select Amar Origin. Then we are presented with the Bloodlines. Yeah, you thought the choices were over. They, they are not. They are not. Now you get to choose your bloodline within your chosen race, within your chosen empire, within your chosen faction. Important to note, bloodlines are pure, purely cosmetic and they are for like role-playing purposes, you could say. Now you can say it, you can see at the bottom here, they'll influence your character's appearance only, does not affect access to skills or abilities. So it's not just your appearance, it's also who you are in the world. And again, this is the kind of game where stuff like this does matter, okay? 
You might actually come across people who are on, let's say, the, uh, the MR bloodline, and they won't interact with these guys because it goes against what they believe in, and so on and so forth. You know, it's important stuff. Okay? It's important stuff. Now, first up, we have Amar. As the dominant bloodline in the Empire, true Amar take tremendous pride in their ancestry. Some consider them arrogant and tyrannical. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then we have the Kanid. They have faithfully served the Amar Empire since the earliest days of conquest. Initially shock troops, some have risen to the rank of Holder. The highest of all honors. This... Uh, uh, peasants. <laughs> these, that's what these guys are thinking right now. Uh, then we have the Nikuni. They've transcended their humble origins as servants to the Empire by provide, proving themselves as tradesmen and artisans. Okay. 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 So, fighters, tradesmen, uh, nobles. <laughs> Interesting. Now, at this point, I'm going to change things up a bit from how I usually do things because this game has a very unique system where... A lot of the options are shared across these bloodlines here that you get to choose from. And when you're actually customizing them, when you're in there changing what you can change, you are going to have all the same options, but you'll just be doing it on a different template. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into each of these right now. I'm going to show you the templates. So you're going to have a template for, well, female Amar, male Amar, female Kanid, male Kanid, female Nikuni, and male Nikuni. And you will be able to modify those in the same way as all the others. So the template is going to be different. It's basically who your character is going to be, what it's going to look like. It's, it's where you're going to start, the starting point. And it does affect the way your character looks quite greatly. You know, if you sort of just look at the visual style and appearance of, of this one right here. Yeah, she looks a bit like Natalie Portman. Your character is always going to look just that little bit like Natalie Portman. You can change quite a lot of what's going on there, but that's still going to be the template that you're using. That's how they've done the character creation in this. You don't get to choose between different faces on each of these. They're basically presenting you with a face, and that's what you're working from. So, with that said, we're going to jump into Female Amar. I'm going to show you what the template looks like. I'll randomize a couple of times, and then you'll be able to sort of get a good idea. And then we'll jump in and we'll look at the customization options in great detail then we'll move on to the next faction or empire and we'll do the same there that's basically the plan it's it's like really <laughs> i know it's like a lot of back and forth but it's the best way of doing it because it would be a waste if i jumped into each and every single one of them to do the same customization options over and over again here we go so your template do you guys see what i'm saying so the basic face structure is always going to be sort of the same, right? Now, I'm, I'm specifically staying zoomed in here because I want to show you the face. We're not focusing on the body or the outfit or anything like that. Uh, it's it's going to be, for the most part, the same, the, the other customization options. So your face on this specific choice on this specific bloodline is always going to look a bit like this sometimes younger sometimes older sometimes the skin color will be different the eyes color will be different you know the 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 structure of the face changes a little bit every time i click randomize but the basic idea will remain the same again sort of look at the nose look at the chin the cheeks they aren't changing that much it's cool and it's a good way of doing this system but it's just something that you need to know and that's the reason i'm doing it like this so there you go. That's the females on Amar. Now we're going to check the males out. Oh, no, no, they've moved. Hold on. Here they are. Wow. Dude, the detail. Wow. That is super impressive. Jeez. I didn't expect that. I got to say, I did not expect that. Looks kind of like Teabag from Prison Break. When you when you catch him in the right light, otherwise not at all. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know I don't know what the heck. Got some some metal on the scalp there, huh, guy. So that's your template. That's the basic style you're working with here. Not sure this is my cup of tea exactly, but uh, if you know what you're going for, 
you might know that this is the one for you. Back we go. Now we still need to go Nikuni. Huh. Alright. So, getting the idea that the uh, skin tone is generally a little bit darker here. Unless it's not changing. It might, might not be changing. I'm not sure. Is the complexion changing? No, it doesn't seem to be. Ah, uh, okay, it's not changing the complexion with randomized, but that's something we will look at when the when the time comes. It doesn't look like they change it with randomized. It doesn't matter. The face, the face is what you're looking at here, and it's like the combinations, you know, the hair, the eyes, everything else. The one thing that seems that they don't change very much is just the skin tone. Okay, there you go. Let's check the males out. Wait. Huh, huh, huh. Did I just go to the wrong one? We were on this one. <laughs> Dude, it's because they're moving around every time. There we go. All right. So you're going to see a lot of the same stuff here. You know, like the hair, these these weird like metal plates on the head, uh, the facial hair styles. You're going to see all the same stuff because you're going to have all the same options. That's the way this works. You can have all the same options, but with a different face template. You can see this guy doesn't look quite as angry. He doesn't have that holier than thou look about him either definitely a difference right okay so that was uh, Nikuni now we're gonna look at these two this is Kanid vastly different face type vastly different same options but completely different it's cool I like it I think that this system really works and when it comes to customization, oh man, you guys are going to love it. I mean, I love it. The way that they allow you to sculpt and change the face. Oof. There aren't many games like it. There are some. And, and, and you know, some would argue that there are some options perhaps missing here. But, um, yeah, I think that they give you a decent selection. They really do. Okay. This is very different. Very different. There's this hardness in the eyes that I feel like all of them have on the Amar Empire. Just this 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 hardness in the eyes where where they've been through some shit, you know? I kind of appreciate that actually. There's a lot of feeling in there. A lot. So I'm just gonna pick let's say Amar female. So it doesn't really matter which one we go with to customize. Uh, now keep in mind, once again, you can see... I'm going to just quickly jump in and show you. So, like, she... Definitely like a Caucasian, standard, straight up... Very straightforward look. But if you go, obviously, on uh, the Kanid one, you are getting a, a more... Eastern look, you know? You've got the, the slightly slanted eyes. Uh, you've got the rounded cheeks, maybe the rounded nose. You've got the features that you'd expect here. So, again... If it's something that you want, you pick this one. It's just cosmetic. It's it's not going to matter. It's not going to make your character any stronger or weaker or anything like that. Uh, but again, I'm not going to customize this one fully and customize that one fully. I'll just go for the other one. You can see how the customization works. Then you can come over here yourself and apply all of that to this face. Uh, personally, yeah, I think you could make something super fantastic on, on, on something like this. But hey, I'll show you all the options over here. And we are jumping in to the customization so let's just go with it doesn't really matter which one we go in with now it's also important to note they don't put the uh, the body modifications on when you randomize it's not like it's not adding that when you randomize so uh, when you click randomize appearance here you won't see the piercings and everything else jumping in there uh, and those like plates on the on the heads of the males those are not body modifications I think those are hairstyles so we begin. We begin. I think to start, I'm actually going to zoom out and I'm going to show you how the sculpting works in this system. So, remove your clothes, please. 
Firstly, you can change the muscularity. You can make your character pretty muscular. I'll zoom in and show you. Uh, like around the waist here, around the, the, the abs, you can sort of see how, how nicely it comes together. Uh, how, well, strong you can make these ladies look. Or these men, you know. Uh, you can increase the weight slider a little bit. Uh, honestly, you do basically have pretty much all you need to make a character look the way you want it. You can't go super large. You can't go mega small. Uh, you can sort of do enough, I feel. You can do enough. Uh, the way the sculptor works is you click on a part of the body and you just move. I'm making circles with my mouse right now. So you make circles with your mouse. You pull it to the right. It makes it bigger. To the left, it makes it smaller. Up, down. Uh, you can do whatever tickles your fancy with this. It'll look different if you if you put the muscles on, if you take the muscles off, uh, you know, with more weight, less weight, things look different. Uh, you can go like mega duper skinny. Um, it's not like unnaturally skinny. Okay, maybe it's like a little unnaturally skinny, but you can like, you know, you can do this, see? Or you can make it look a little weird. It looks like, you know, that's a little out of proportion. Uh, you can obviously, there's basically a butt slider. Uh, there's, you can change the butt size. Uh, yeah, you got a lot of, a lot of options. And you're going to have to jump in. You're going to have to sort of do what you want to do for yourself here. It's it's too much for me to show you everything. I feel like the guys who made this, they definitely know what they're doing. Like, all of the changes seem to happen pretty naturally. I'm impressed by it. I think it's cool. So, for the purposes of this video, it doesn't really matter what we do with this. I'm going to leave it on the, the middle. Uh, you can just reset, by the way. You've got a history slider over here. You can sort of just like... Brrrts. Eh back where we were and then you can drag it all the way back over there that's like <laughs> legit uh, something every character creator should have one of the best features in this character creator the fact that they let you go back even one setting at a time you can't change the length of your arms or legs you can't change the height of your character uh, you can change a bunch of other stuff though and uh, it's enough it's enough and that's the body modification uh, down here at the bottom i think you can change the calves yeah a little bit you can't change the feet uh, for some reason, we tippy toe in. I guess we're going to be wearing heels. Uh, there's, there's basically the neck as well. Thicker, thinner. You can barely see it over there, but thicker, thinner. It's barely changing. Uh, I think the most important sliders are probably the boobs and the butt. That's just, you know, let's be real. That's just how it is. <laughs> I, I actually have not even looked at the sliders on the male character, so I'm pretty excited to check that out. Yeah, so lots of options. I like the muscles. I think the muscles are kind of cool. Uh, so I leave the muscles maxed out. Then, we're moving on to the face. I'm going to put a different hairstyle on quickly. So I'm jumping ahead just to change the hairstyle to one that is not going to get in our way. Let's have a peek. Let's have a peek. Let's say this one. That should be fine. Then we're going to come back up here. Well, I mean, then I'm going to close this. And we're going to look at everything else. Complexion. You get the palest of the pale. And then you get to go through all of them here. A lot of different options. Decent choices here. You can go pretty dark. And as you saw, you can go pretty pale. You can do whatever you like. Whatever you like. Then there's aging. The aging only affects the face. So you're not going to see any changes on the rest of the body. It only affects the face. And it doesn't really affect it all that much. You max aging. I mean doesn't really look like that older lady like it's just a little bit here and there uh, freckles pretty pretty insane like how much it is when you put it on max it looks nice it's a good amount this does affect the body as you can see uh, at least you know for the most part scarring not sure if that affects the body no I don't see it on the rest of the body it's just on the face so it's it's these I would call it more like skin blemishes or impurities or whatever. It's not really scars. The scars are down in the body modifications. You'll, you'll see them there. So that's what you can change there. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Then, for the rest of the face, sculpting. Sculpting. <laughs> sculpting. You, I don't think there's anything you can like press. It's one of my like... I'm not going to say it's like a, a, a issue I have with this. Maybe I just haven't found it. Maybe there's a button somewhere that 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 would let you like, you know, sort of see which areas are, are, are changeable. But like, I would like that. I would, pref I would prefer it if they could show me every single one. Because like, you might not realize that you can change the ears, you know? And you can change the ears, right? Look, you can sort of do whatever you want with them. Uh, but you can basically select any part of the face 
and you can drag it around. It's a dangerous game, okay? This is more dangerous than flying into zero sick pirate space with a ship that isn't equipped with guns. Is that a good analogy? I don't know, man. I don't play EVE Online. Anyway, it's a dangerous game because you can make some pretty hideous characters here. Like, the abominations that you can come up with, uh, endless, endless. And, and it's these changes that you make that fly under the radar, you know? Uh, the, the radar being your massive eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How's, how's it going? You see, um, you, this, is, this is the problem. Uh, but it is a system that allows for some pretty cool things, you know? You can do some fun stuff with it. And it also feels... It feels good, you know? You, you know, it's nice to, to have a direct hand and, and, and not have to worry about a slider. I like sliders. I think sliders are, are good. And I think even with the sculpt in here, I think that they could have probably added the sliders because... Can I be real with you? There are sliders here. These these are sliders. This is a slider. Because because I'm like, I'm taking this. I'm sliding it this way, that way, this way, that way, up, down, left, right. It's like you, you have, you are sliding a value up and down, basically. Uh, and it, it, they could they could probably have just presented you with that at some point and, and allowed you to sort of do what you want to do with it and then see what you're doing what you do with it and stuff like that. But it's fine. Like, the system is good, uh, and I think it works really well, and it allows for some pretty unique uh, changes to be made. <laughs> Again, that stuff in the face doesn't change the body. It doesn't affect the body. Uh, and then thank God for for being able to go back in history and, and like, and like restoring your character to... To what it actually looks like because let's just say once again thank god <laughs> I, I don't need to explain to you why so we go back uh, you can modify all of that do it yourself fiddle around it's a free game you can do it no one's going to charge you money eyes the eye choice it's like the pupil the iris size the basic shape of it uh, on the interior there it's not the exterior the exterior stuff you have to change with the sculpting and there's a lot, by the way, like if you look here, you can like sort of select this and move it around. You can check that and move it around. Uh, there's a lot here. There's a lot here. Okay. You get to change this and then you get to change the color as well. Right. Not a lot of colors. They are grounded very much in reality with all of this. Uh, you don't you don't get to pick anything off the RGB range. You just you have what you have here. Right. You have what you have. I think it's kind of cool. It's a little weird, uh, given that they don't give you like weird uh, contact lenses and stuff like that. But because it's it's a sci-fi game, this is very far in the future. I guess there's a possibility that that kind of stuff could be in-game, right? I mean, it's a free game. They want to make their money somehow. Maybe that's how they make the money, right? Let's move on to here. This is always one of if not my favorite part like this is the hair changes always make a big difference like the hair i always feel like is the most impactful so what we're going to do is you have two colors you have a root color and you have the the main color we're going to make the root color white the main color black uh, you can change the eyebrows over here as well i'll show you in a moment when we look at the eyebrows but this is good this is good then you can see basically where your highlight will be and and some of them well, you can clearly see, do not have highlights. Others do, like this one. Like this one. Funny, this one actually has the, yeah, the roots, like, they go really far back. And, like, only a small part of the of the top part there is, is black. This one looks very different. Like, for instance, if I had to set this to black, yeah, that looks, like, way, way more natural, way better. But, I mean, you want to see anyway what you can change. So, there it is. Cool. Yeah, there are nice hairstyles in this game. And like the texture that they use on the hair and the way the hair looks and everything about the hair is, is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's it's a it's a job well done, if you ask me. It's a job well done. They they did great. I, I'm actually wait. I'm I'm sorry, I'm 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 getting so into looking at them that I'm forgetting to look behind to see what they look like at the back. Oh yeah, that's kinda sick. Now, when you do pick your character, and this is going to be at the end of my video, like right at the end, I'm going to click next here and I'm going to show you. 
uh, as far as I understand, you take your character into like a photo booth <laughs> and you have to do like a little photo shoot for your uh, for your avatar. But I'm not sure that's what it used to be. I'm really, and, and I came into this kind of blind. I'm really not sure if that's what it's like anymore. Uh, that's what they used to do. And uh, I really liked it because it's also part, once again, of, of like your your faction pride because uh, you get like lots of different backgrounds and stuff like that and there's and there's lots of different options to uh, to to change the way it uh, it looks I thought for a second I had taken the the root color off because I was not seeing a, a difference but it's still on those just didn't have roots to change I like this hairstyle. I feel the need to share that with you. There you go. Eyebrows. Let's take the one I said I liked. Just because. Eyebrows. So. I don't know. I'm probably going to keep pointing this out. Keep in mind, if you had picked one of the other bloodlines, this character, with the changes that I've made here, would look a little different. You know? Would look a little different. It's also kind of cool that you can randomize just the one selection. Check. So we're just randomizing the hair. And the eyebrows. Yeah. That's kind of nice. So if you sort of, you decided, oh, that's the face for me then you can be like, ah, oh, but what if we mix the hair up a little bit? And, you know, what if we do something special or interesting or unique with that? Hmm. They got you. They got you. I'm actually going to leave the, the head bald for now, just for a moment, so that I can... Well, I mean, I guess I can pick one of these, like a shorter one, uh, this one. Yeah, so that I can actually see the ears. You'll see why now. I mean, it's obvious why now. <laughs> We're going to get uh, to earrings soon, and, well, you want to you wanna be able to see them. Okay, so uh, let's move on to makeup first. I, I said soon, I didn't say now. Chill. Makeup. Eyeshadow, 10 different options here. You once again get to choose the color. I liked that they gave a lot here. In other words, like you can sort of, you can, let's choose two different ones. Like let's choose red and let's choose yellow. You can sort of, uh, if you change the opacity to full, you can, you can see it's, it's pretty intense. Uh, especially if you like have a, a darker skin color, this will be pr pretty nice. There you can see it's mostly just the red. And if we switch over, that's mostly just the red as well. Now they added the yellow to it. You can sort of get a good idea for where the two different colors are. That's kind of cool. There you go. Oh yeah. Mm, so if you are creative with makeup, I'm not. I'm not. I suck at doing makeup on characters. If you're creative with makeup, then you can do some cool stuff with this. I'm going to turn it off for now though, so we can see the other stuff properly. Uh, this is the same situation. You get to choose the opacity. You get to choose the color. It's eyeliner. Uh, there's nothing super special here. Uh, it's like top, bottom, bottom, top, up, down, up and down, and so on and so forth. Darker, lighter, right? If you want nothing, you just change the opacity down and you are good to go. Blush. Just two different options here. And opacity on it. And yeah, you'll forgive me for not looking at every single color. It's just there are so many options in this game that if I had to look at every single color, oof. We'd, we'd, let's just say we'd be here a while. This is a smaller one. That's a, No, no, this is f closer to the front and that's closer to the back. It just moves a bit. Yeah, it's just moving around a bit. Okay, lipstick. Colors. There are some nice colors here. Not a huge amount, but... There are some nice colors. Again, maybe there's some stuff in the game that you can choose from. I don't know, man. Then there's gloss over here. And opacity. Opacity is just going to show or not show. Gloss, yeah, you can have matted lipstick. That's kind of cool. It's important, I suppose, because when you zoom in, when you get like super close to your character, you will see the difference, you know? I don't know how often you actually come into contact with other players' characters in the game. I know that when you like speaking to them or selecting them or whatever, you'll see the portrait of their character, but I'm not sure if you actually see their entire body. Like, uh, it was always a dream for me back when EVE Online first came out to be able to go onto the space stations and see your character walk around and stuff. I don't know if they've implemented that already. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I guess it's possible. You guys can let me know. Clothes. Here we go. Clothes. 
Now these are the same across all of the MR. So it doesn't really like change across the bloodlines. This is what you have. Firstly, you can hide it, uh, you know, then you can hide every single separate piece. So you've got the outer clothes, you get to pick one uh, or you get to hide it, you know? So if I hide that, or, or actually better example is if I take like a, a jacket over here and then I hide the shirt, you can look like that if you want. Yeah, well, no one's stopping you. You can also hide your 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 pants and you can just have boots and a jacket on. Or, or alternatively, uh, you know, this, I mean, this actually makes sense. You can do this if you want. Uh, <laughs> you, know, you know, you know, if that's your thing, then that's, that's cool. That's cool. But let's have a look at all the options. Uh, let's have a look at what's available to us. There is the outer clothes first. These are once again like suits and or jackets, dresses, you know, just some slightly more formal wear. Uh, and yeah, they're pretty cool. They're pretty nice. I realize I didn't actually look at the front and back of the of the dresses, so we're gonna just check that out quickly. Yeah, they're pretty nice. I like them. Because of the way she's standing, it looks like this is skew on the back. I guess it's not. I guess it's not. Let's take a jacket here, and then oh, for now I guess we'll hide it, and then we'll put a top on and we'll see what the shirts look like. Oh, and then you get a bunch of options here on these as well. So I'll, I'll put some pants on so you can see what it actually does. Basically, on every single one of these, you get to choose how you want it tucked or how you want it cropped up or, or basically how you want it to hang. I like that. I think it's a great option. And I think that it changes quite drastically the way your character looks. Now, for the purposes of this, I'm going to leave it max length or on the, basically the default setting, which is this one. Uh, and that's just because you can see all the details on the bottom of the shirt here. I guess that's kind of important. I don't know if I would have said like, hey, I want them to have more options here or I want to be able to change the colors and stuff here. Because if you can change the stuff in game, if you can go around and, and change your character and customize things, then I guess it doesn't really matter. But I, I again, I, I am a bit ignorant where that's concerned. I don't know if you can actually do that. The vests are nice. Cool. Yeah, let's go with like a black vest. Then the bottoms. Uh, let's remove the vest so we can see the belt. Yeah, I was about to say. Let's check the belt out rather. There we go. So, bottoms. Uh, with the bottoms, there's no modifications to make. But there are some cool belts. Nice, dude. Look at that. Dude, the detail on this is pretty intense. Yeah. They spared no expense on this. Okay, then. Feet. What do we got? Nine different choices. You get to choose whether you want the pants under or over. Keep that in mind. These are just different colors. There we go. Those are nice, dude. Okay. Yeah, I like the boots. And I like them over... Yeah, something like this, you know? Cool. Let's put a jacket on. Oh yeah, dude, she's rocking it. Okay. Body modifications, that's next up. Let's go. Lots of cool choices there. Why is all of this... Okay, this... <laughs> oh my god. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is a big one, dude. Piercings, eyebrows. Left and right. Uh, it's sort of whatever. I, I guess we can sort of take them off so that it doesn't clutter the face too much. I don't want to distract you from what's happening. Yeah, that's nice. Cool, cool, cool. Hello. Keep moving, please. Keep moving. Little studs. I mean, you can zoom in even more. See them there. Ears high and ears low. Uh, these are a little bit weird, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep going until they appear on this side, because, again, they, they, they're the same. It's like these ones are those ones on the other side. So you'll just look at these ones here and just know that you can put them on the other side too. Yeah. So there's ear high, and then there's ear low. Oh, I like these. Cool. Cool.
Yeah, I like that. There's a lot of cool choices here. Ooh. Really big hoops. Is that like a diamond? Huh. Jeez, dude. 33 different ones. Lip rings. 25 lip rings. Yeah, man. This is crazy. I know it's a lot of the same, but like... Man, options are options, huh? Like, you are approaching a level where you'd have infinite combinations here. When you have this many different options. Oh, that does... Well, that does not look safe. <laughs> Jeez. Interesting that they have these piercings. I don't even know what these are called, man. I don't, like, what's that piercing called? It's not one that you see all that often. Okay, chin. They've even got chin piercings. How, mm. I wonder how comfortable this is. Whoa. Damn. Okay, what the heck is that? Is that a camera? <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm okay without that one. You guys can keep that one. That one you guys can keep. That's the piercings done. All right. Let's move on to tattoos. Head tattoos. Not a lot of head tattoos, interestingly enough. I, I do wonder if maybe the others have different tattoos. I, I did not look at that. That's the one thing I did not check. You get to change the color over here. I will check for you guys once we're done here. I will just check to make sure that I know. Because if there was ever going to be a difference... I guess this would be it. They'd have their own tattoos. So there's nine on this one. Okay. Not not much you can change or do here. Uh, it's nice that you can change the opacity and the color and whatever. Uh, but uh, tattoos are sort of, eh, you know. The scars are a bit better in my opinion. I've seen the scars. So you get to choose. And the nice thing about the scars is a lot of them look kind of natural, you know. Even though I guess the idea of, of you recreating a clone but it has scars... Uh, is kind of weird, but it's obviously by choice. This is the same on the other side. Oh no, it's not the same on the other side, okay. That's the same on the other side. Very subtle, huh? It's over here. The chin. Yeah. For, for whatever reason on the scars here, it seems to be quite difficult to skip through. This is all the way down the nose and on the lip here. Jeez, lots of options here. How do you even get a scar like that? It's up here. Does this game have aliens? A question that I'd like answered. I don't know. Wow. Yeah. I know games like Elite Dangerous or whatever have you fight against aliens and stuff. I just, all I always see is this human warfare in this game. You know, you're playing against other players. It's along the neck here, look. On that side. See on the cheek. Hmm. Like, I'm, cha I'm changing it here, but there's not much to see. It's on the forehead. Very subtle, huh? Very subtle. That's the last one. So, that's pretty much it. As you can see, there's like there's a lot to choose from here. You, you really, really are spoiled for choice. And uh, it's cool. It's cool. Uh, with the body modifications, they don't allow you to, to randomize, like, the, the whole thing. It's a little... You know, it's a little disappointing that you can't throw that into the mix. You can randomize these. Uh, so, like, just, you know, these piercings and stuff. Then they give you, like, a selection of different ones on your face. But you can't mod you can't do the whole thing. Uh, it, I, there must be a reason for it. I don't know what the reason is. But that's basically it. That's the same kind of options you will see on the females of the others here in the MR. But I guess what we can do quick, just to check, and this is just for, for both our... Um, peace of mind is to have a look at the tattoos it's the exact same ones okay 
So no difference, not at all. Same ones, same ones. Obviously, again, your like your body here, it's going to be different. Your character is going to look different. Uh, just know that. Just know that. So that's it. That's for the females on the Amara side done. Uh, we're going to jump into the males now. So I, I did female Amar. I, I, I did the Amar bloodline. Uh, I, I think I'm not going to jump into the male Amar. I'm going to jump into the Nikuni rather. It's the same like thing overall. It's just this guy has maybe a slightly more versatile face. That other guy, he just looks a little angry, you know, <laughs> you know, and um, if you look at like this guy compared to this guy. Yeah, I mean, this looks like a disheveled Doctor Who. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I said he looked like teabag before, but like, I don't know. Uh, okay, it's whatever. It's whatever. I, I, okay, fine, 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 fine. I lied. We're going on Mail Amar. We're going for this guy because, you know. This is Amar. If you bind into Amar, you bind into this, guys. I'm sorry to say, this is what you bind into. Uh, get used to it. Be real. Oh my god, look at those robes. What the heck? That is sick. Okay, please take them off. Thank you. Wow. Didn't expect that. That's not even muscular. Here comes muscular. Wow. Jam, dude. This priest pump in the iron. Look at that. You just throw the robes on and he's like, uh, bless you, my son. <laughs> God, wow. <laughs> All right, I dig it, I dig it, I dig it. Uh, as before, we're going to, uh, we're going to do the body sculpt in first. I'm going to show you what you can do with it. Uh, we'll start with a body sculpt in. Uh, let's just, I know what you guys want to see, so let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. We can't. There's no doing it. Okay. <laughs> I had to try. I'm sorry. I did it for you. Guys, I did it for you. I blame you for this entirely. Pectorals. Um, yeah, good, 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 good. Nice, nice. Uh, in terms of the, the movement of the belly. Yeah, you got some, you got some, you got some leeway there. Uh, you got some, mm -hmm, there you go. That's kind of good. It just actually looks like it's a skinny guy pushing his stomach out. Uh, so you can't actually truly be like, you know. I mean, it's a, a sci-fi game. Maybe they don't want the, uh, maybe they don't want the clones being overweight. I don't know. So I like this. Can I show you what I'm, what I'm looking at here now? The arms. So when you make the arms bigger, look at the veins. Check. Nothing. Barely, barely see the vein over there. Push it out. Ooh, yeah, man. Look at that. They're popping. Looking good. Ah. Looking big, champ. I like it. All right. You get to sculpt basically everything. Use your imagination where this is concerned, guys. Uh, make your dream man. You can't change the length of the arms or legs, but you can change the size of them. Uh, wow. Check it out, dude. Yeah, this guy. Hitting the gym has really paid off for Pasta Serious Man here. Let's see what the back looks like. Oof, oof, look at that. Yeah. So in, on the male's characters, like making it bigger is just making it more muscular. And the thing is, even when you take the muscularity off completely, it's still like mega muscular. Look at that. Hmm. Okay. So that's it. That's that's the way you can change these things. Last time I looked at the complexion before I looked at the at the um, face sculpting. So I'll do the same here. Uh, your complexion changes. You get to choose a skin color here from a pre determined uh, list of skin colors they can go all the way to the darker side of things and i think i think on the male here we're going to go with the darker skin color just so we can see the the difference the contrast uh and so we can see maybe how this stuff looks let's peek let's peek let's peek see what the aging looks like on here i mean he already looks pretty aged uh i i, I realized that the oh Hmm, I'm, I'm telling you now, before on the females, I did not see it affecting this very much. Oh, maybe it's because I had the muscularity set full. No, okay. I, I Maybe I was wrong. On the females, I actually said, oh, you know, it doesn't affect the body. Uh, I was, I might have been wrong, unless it's just on the males. It's, it's possible. I apologize. Okay, freckles. Okay, can't see much of the freckles if we have this like this. Oh, you can't see much of them anyway. Right, there's a lot of freckles, but you can't see much of it. Scarring. Barely anything, really. It just makes his skin a little rougher. 
I don't think the scoring affects the body. No, no, it doesn't. Okay. So yeah, maybe I was wrong about the engine, man. That's possible. Slightly darker skin tone once again, like I said. I think it'll just be cool to see. Then, I'm going to show you guys what the face sculpting looks like. So, the way it works, you click and drag. You click and drag. It's much like using a slider in a regular character creation system. Uh, you click and you drag. I was a little disappointed that you couldn't select the forehead here, but like, eh, whatever. It's whatever. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Uh, you have a lot of options. You, you can select any part that highlights, even the ears, and you can change them to sort of your heart's content. Uh, I, I mean, I say your heart's content, but I do think that you'd have a bit more flexibility with a slightly more traditional system. However, I feel like this is a more intimate system and like it allows you to feel like you are truly sculpting your character's visual style. And uh, I, yeah, while it does constrain still, like it still sticks very, very firmly to like how the, the template is that you selected and how it looks and whatever, you can like, like for instance, these changes that I'm making here are pretty substantial. Like as an example, that guy there versus this guy here, it's a, big, it's a biggish change, you know? It's a biggish change. And if you change like the nose and the eyes and the mouth a little bit here, you, you can come up with some stuff that looks kind of different, you know? Uh, but it's one of those things where I can sit here as much as I want swinging these little like sliders around and, 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 and pulling around on this guy's face, you know, tugging here, uh, dragging this out, uh, sliding that back in. But, you know, you're going to have to look at it yourself to, to get the full picture. Uh, again, game is free. You're going to have to look at this yourself because there is just so much that you can do. Uh, and, and then like stuff that I didn't really do much on the females, like you can even like do the jaws here and, and your, your chin quite a lot. And then like the jowls can be pushed out a bit and you have a lot that you can change. Once again, you have a history slider down here. So if you feel like you've made a horrible mistake, you can jump a few steps back and then you're presented with what you had then. But with this whole system, with the sculpting, Go crazy. Go crazy. It's the best way. So, eyes. And I'm going to be looking at that, by the way. The sculpting on every character that we make. I'll just I'll just fiddle around with the sculpting a little bit so you can see. Eye colors. I guess it's pretty important to look at the eye colors. I do sort of uh, sort of jump across the, the colors and glaze over them a little bit. Uh, I don't I don't always look at every color in great detail because you can sort of you can sort of see what's going on. Uh, I think I picked these ones for the female. I like the way they looked, but let's pick a darker one for this guy. The eye choice here is basically just like, uh, you know, the pupil, the iris, all these things, they change a little bit. There's nothing too crazy. It's not like cyberpunk. I, I mean, I'm a little sad that it's not like cyberpunk because cyberpunk has some fantastic options where eyes are concerned and, and well, you know, other things too. Uh, certain packages that can be uh, <laughs> modified in cyberpunk are, are pretty, uh, pretty entertaining. It's kind of nice. Anyway. Uh, we're going to do the same as we did on female. I'm going to select the black on the hair color and the white on the roots. And we will basically just see where the highlights are. This is just to showcase the hairstyles for you. And you'll also see that we have a beard slider over here. That was not there on the females, unfortunately. Uh, as nice as it is to have a beard on your lady, Eve Online, well, CCP don't want that. They don't want that. Maybe send them some like hate mail regarding that if you'd like. I don't know. <laughs> you do you, man. If that's something that angers you, go for it. Go for it. These are kind of cool. I like these. Or don't. These guys don't deserve any hate mail, actually. I think CCP, probably one of my favorite devs all time. I mean, I know they make mistakes here and there. Uh, I know they've had some missteps over the years. But for the most part, they are just fantastic. They stick in with their guns uh, where EVE Online is concerned. Uh, they are working on the game. It is slowly but surely getting better and better and better. And it's just awesome. Uh, it just it remains awesome. This just actually looks kind of bad. I got to say, like, this just looks kind of bad. Let's go for... Look, we want it out of the ears. There we go. Yeah, oh my god, that looks so much better. It makes it look like a really sort of cheap character creation system when you have that really bad looking light root color there, uh, you know? No thanks, no thanks. Let's just go full dark hair. Uh, I mean, we could also go full light hair. It's, it's sort of fine too, but I, I feel like the dark hair sort of looks good on this guy, so we'll do that. Uh, eyebrows. Eyebrows. Oh, this is actually facial hair color. I'm not sure if this includes eyebrows as well. No. Interesting. But there are different eyebrows to choose from here. 
we we'll choose this one, and then let's look at the facial hair. What do we got? Okay. That's not bad. Uh, I don't see any really big beards. I wonder if the whole of EVE Online is just like bereft of beards. Like this is some fluff that's literally stuck to his skin. There's nothing sticking out here. There's really nothing. I don't know how I feel about it, man. And this, this is basically the biggest beard they have. I'll pick it because I have to. <laughs> um, you know? I mean, this is a handsome looking fellow. Yeah. Yeah. This is a handsome looking fellow. <laughs> oh, jeez. I was like, uh, mm, uh, what the hell is a skin detail? This was called makeup on females. They just didn't call it makeup on the males. Come on, you cowards. Okay, I mean, I guess. Okay. So, so this, there's, there's a little bit of, there's less, there's less, there's less. On males, there's less. That's like, it's just like, come on, man, call it makeup. What's wrong with a guy wearing makeup? Jeez, man. Jeez. <laughs> Lash thickness. I'm not seeing, oh, uh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Cheek color. I mean, jeez, dude. Like, literally two days ago, I had all my nails painted by my daughter. Okay, it's like, what's, what's, the, what's, what's the big deal? I, yeah, I went out, man. I was out in the world like that. I'm not seeing anything change in here. Are you guys seeing anything change in here? Yeah, it's changing a little bit. It's barely anything, though. Okay. Lip tone. <laughs> There's no lipstick. Or is there? Oh, I mean, maybe it's part of the race. Maybe it's part of the race, you know? It's possible, right? God, this guy is buff as shit. Maybe it's part of the race. Maybe they just, maybe they, just, they frown upon it. It's cool, whatever, man. All right, let's look at what they got. I'm kind of keen to see the male outfits. Put the clothes back on, please. Oh, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. These are cool. I like the patterns and stuff. Ooh! Dude, their jackets are so much cooler than the female ones! How's that fair? Damn, that's cool. Ah, okay. That's just boring again. Okay, okay, okay. And I mean, I dig the robes as well. Like, why do the females not get robes? This must be to do with the law, right? Like, there's got to be a law reason for the females not to have robes. I don't know the law. Do you know the law? Dude, these robes are so cool. Look at the pipes at the top here. Like, what is that? That's for his extended sermons, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it is. It's for the extended sermons. Okay, cool. So he doesn't have to stop. It provides him with food and oxygen, uh, water, stuff like that. But these jackets are just like the bomb, man. That's really cool. I'll take it off for now, though. We're going to do the mid-layer. Wait, what? Huh? Huh? Once again, they have another layer. They have a middle layer. Why? Okay, sure. Take that off. Give me your shirt. Put it on. Jeez, dude. Yeah, these t-shirts are just highlighting how buff my character is. Wow. That's impressive, dude. Yeah. Oof. Okay, let's go for... Like one of these shirts. Throw that baby on top. Uh, throw this baby on top of that baby. Okay, okay, okay. Enough throwing babies. Let's do everything off. Bottoms. Yeah, those are really boring pants. Alright, let's check the belt out. Nice belts. As always, like, I'm always impressed by the belts in this game. I think they do a great job with them. Oh, that's kind of nice. Yeah, the pattern on the side is cool. Yeah. 
Ooh, man. More pockets, always good. That's what my three-year-old daughter will tell you. It's basically, the more pockets something has, the better it is to wear. Standard, man. Standard, standard, standard. If you're a toddler, you can never have too many pockets. Maybe the same rule applies to buff spacemen. Yeah, possibly. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, the, I don't know. For some reason, I got a thing with belt buckles, man. I got a thing with belt buckles. Uh, the tops, uh, which I didn't actually look at right now, the shirts here, they have options over here. Not as nice as the female ones, but it's whatever. It shows your belt if you need it to show your belt. Let's look at the boots. Huh. Huh. Okay. And you get to obviously pick here whether you want to... I mean, on these it does nothing, but on these you get to pick whether you want to tuck it or not. So I like I like these boots. I like these pants. I like this jacket. Or maybe that jacket. Nah, nah, nah. I like the puffy ones. This jacket. And then the shirt. Damn. Not bad. Like, you can make a stylish looking dude here. Hmm. Okay, body modifications. Let's check it out. What we got here? Piercings. Eyebrow. Eyebrow. Oh. Oh, interesting. That's not on the females. Oh, wow. What the heck? <laughs> Two cameras. Wow. Okay. What are these LEDs? <laughs> oh, shit, man. It's like a landing strip for my opponent's fist. <laughs> you can guide them in. Yeah, man. Just have the lights flashing over there. Tell them here's where you need to land. <laughs> God. All right. Take this off quickly. It's too much. Okay. Less. For sure, they have less. Uh, definitely less. Females have like a ton. Males only have a few. Okay, ears. Not gonna complain. I think that there was too much on the females anyway. Uh, let's have a look. Hmm. Yeah. Here's low. 15 here. Interesting. There's definitely enough here. Again, the reason I'm not... Uh, going through the ones on the other side is it's because they're exactly the same you will see all of the same ones on this side here they come here they come see wait what is this one? Oh, that's on both sides okay uh no we did not <laughs> we did not get to see the same ones interesting huh very strange I thought we'd see the same ones. I, I think this might be an oversight. Oh, no, it's different. Okay, it's different. It's different. Lips. Hmm. I mean, why not 11 different lip piercings? Why not? Sure. Chin. Cool. Yeah. I don't think those are actually LEDs, guys. I don't think so. Head tattoos. They have head written there in a way that, that sort of makes me think that you could possibly, in some distant reality, have different tattoos on the rest of your character's body. I don't know, man. As with most games, can I tell you what I feel about this? They could have just as well left it out. Pointless. Pointless. Scars. Now, on the female character, I felt like the scars were cool because they look kind of natural. Uh, I have to take the facial hair off quickly. Otherwise, you're not going to see it. But but at the same time, uh, I, I felt like, uh, you know, you, you sometimes you have to strain a little to see it. Yeah. You know? Now, maybe with this skin color, it'll be better. It, it's already looking a little bit better with the skin color. Uh, but, you know, like some of them are very hard to see. Some of them are very hard to see. It's this one here. 
definitely a little easier to see on the on the males here than on the females. I, and I, I don't, think it's, don't think it's the males versus females thing. I think it's just because I've got a darker skin color here. Yeah. 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 And and because like on the on the palest skin color that I had on the female that I made, it sort of just blended in a little bit, you know. Huh. Cool. It's here. Huh, not bad, not bad. And that is officially the final option. So yeah, the male options pretty much identical to the female options in most ways, whereas they have a few extras, a bit more here, a bit less there, you know, less obviously in terms of makeup and stuff like that. They have the facial hair, which the females don't have. Body modifications, definitely less. Uh, clothes more, clothes more. You get to have those cool robes. So it's definitely worth checking out to see like an example I think that I should probably look at is just these guys are not supposed to have the robes. Based on the law here, these guys should not have the robes. So let's just check quickly and, and that'll like sort of answer any potential question you might have. No, they've got the robes. Okay, maybe it's just a traditional male uh, outfit, you know. It's possible. It's possible. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of cool. I mean, Amara looked nice. Uh, the other factions, they look very different, but yeah. Amora looked nice. Next up, we're going to jump into Galente. These keep reshuffling at the top here, so like the order that I picked initially is sort of out the window at this point, but it's whatever. I'm going to mention once again that these choices are just going to be serving as a base. They don't, as you can see over here, affect your character's access to skills or abilities. They don't affect the ships that you start with. Nothing like that. They just give you a base template to work from, and they basically decide what your customization experience is going to be like. So if you pick Jin Mei over here, you start in with that face, you customize it, uh, you pick Galente over here, that face or this face, and so on and so forth. As I did with Amar, we're going to jump into each of them. I will randomize a bunch of times so you can see like a couple of examples, and then I'm going to jump into just one. I guess I'll pick, let's take Jin Mei. Or I can just pick Galente. I think it's probably best if I take... No, no, no. Jinmei is a little more different. We'll rather go with that. Uh, but I'll take one and then I'll customize that a little bit more thoroughly. So you can see basically what's going on with their customization options. See if there's anything unique or different there. And you can sort of take it from that point and pick what you want based on that. So, Jinmei. Let's have a look. Jinmei female. I actually think that when I initially played this game, I might have played as a Jinmei female. But that was like seriously a good 10 years ago. Yeah, this game's been out for a while. <laughs> so I'm going to randomize a few times. Uh, the body doesn't really change much. You don't need to worry about that. Like if I if I zoom out here, you'll see uh, it, it gets a little bigger, a little smaller. But that's not really what you're here for. Because the female bodies are all the same. The male bodies are all the same. So let's zoom out a tiny bit more. Let's move it up a tiny bit. There we go. Hmm. This is a nice face. This is a really nice face. Versatile, you know? You know what I feel like always ruins it when you randomize? For some reason, it's like the eyebrows. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, if there's one thing that like stands out as looking really bad, it, it tends to be the eyebrows. Yeah. Although, yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, that's beautiful. Man, look at those eyes. Icy blue. Kind of nice. Yeah, so you, you've got a pretty character to work with here. And like any customization you do, anything you change here, it's really not going to make it much less attractive. You've just got a good looking, good looking character. Okay, males. I think we're going to have the same thing here. You're just going to have a good looking character. Well, I mean, I mean. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it's okay. It's all right. He's okay. Oh my god, the shades. That's actually kind of cool. I do not think that those shades were available on Amar. Okay, so I'm like pretty excited. There's some new stuff on here. 
I don't remember seeing those sunglasses. Huh. Did I... Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. There's like an entire selection of eyewear down there. Okay, no. So a lot of these males are pretty good looking. And you can make some pretty interesting stuff with them. And I think I just saw some interesting t-shirts as well. Huh. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Ooh. Now it's reshuffled itself. Okay. We're going to go for... Uh, that doesn't really matter. Uh, Intaki. Female. Ooh. They look a little tired. They look a little finished. Don't know what the law behind that is. But, uh, let's just say they're not all pleased to be here. I like the shades. Yeah, that must be a Galente thing. It's Top Gun style, right? Maybe that's Galente. Top Gun the Empire. I don't know. Yeah, they're okay. These ones, they look alright. Why not? Why not? Oh, man, now it's on this side. Oh, these dudes look kind of cool. These dudes look kind of cool. I, I did like the guy with the hair. Where's the hair, man? Put some real hair on that head. Come on. Eh, okay. There's some pretty great variation here. You, you truly do get to uh, change quite a lot. Like, I mean, some of these guys do not look like the others. I mean, I'm, I'm, look, honestly, I think I'm getting, there we go, there we go. I'm getting kind of unlucky with the hair here. Unless there's like only one long hairstyle, I'm just not getting it. It's constantly just bald heads and cornrows. Bald heads, cornrows, bald heads, cornrows, short hair, short hair, short hair. What the heck is going on here? There it is. And we back on the bald heads and the cornrows. Okay, fine. <laughs> fine. They look good. They look good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, next up, Galente. Here we go, females. So, seems to be pretty similar to the Jin Mei uh, in some ways, but but less Eastern. Damn, you can like really get up close and personal. They did a great job. I'm quite excited to see the next step here, because the next step, and we're going to do that right at the end of the video, is to take a uh, photo, a selfie of your character, uh, adjust the lighting, do the background, all that kind of stuff. And it's it's cool, it's cool, but it is something that needs to be separate from the rest of the character creation because it's it's its own thing, it's like entirely its own thing. These ones look pretty pleased to be here. They make up for the uh, lack of enthusiasm. On the other ones, on the other bloodlines, they absolutely make up for it. Okay, I found the good-looking ones. The chiseled features. Um, there's still something a little funny going on with the eyes. Actually, it's because they keep looking up here. Why are they looking up? Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. So, like, these are some good-looking boys. I like it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can't go wrong with these guys. You absolutely can't go wrong with these guys. That's it. That's it. You should go for Galente Mail. <laughs> okay. So as I was saying, we're going to jump into the full customization now. I'm pretty excited to see what they actually have available to them. This is basically your Galente female customization. We're going female first. She's standing in front here. Then we'll do Galente Mail. And yeah, we're just going to do Jin Mei. It's going to give you a good look at all the options available. And you're going to have to sort of try and like imagine what these options would look like if you put them on one of the other bloodlines. So I'm going to randomize once or twice, just get the hair out of the face. But the hair was out of the face, you say. I know. I'm just trying to get a less hideous looking hairstyle. <laughs> God. There we go. Okay. This one's perfect. So, we begin. Uh, the face sculpting. Going to hold off on that for a moment. I want to show you guys the body sculpting quickly. Because again, I know that and I always suggest that you do. A lot of you guys skip around using timestamps. Uh, you get to sculpt the body in its entirety. Uh, you get to do quite a lot with it. I am personally very much impressed by the system. Uh, it's, it's nice. 
Uh, on top of that, you get to set the muscularity and the weight of your character. Uh, I'm going to say one more time, like, the, the weight doesn't really affect all that much. Uh, it's like you get to be slightly more curvy, slightly less curvy. Uh, you can't make an overweight character in this game. I think it makes sense. I don't know for sure if, if that's, like, the thinking behind it. But, like, you know, it's the future. Obesity has been uh, completely wiped out in its entirety. Uh, everyone's healthy because they have access to all sorts of weird space meds and nonsense like that. I mean, this is a clone that we're making, for goodness sake, you know? And, and when you die, you just reprint yourself another clone. So, um, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I guess that explains it, right? Put the weight all the way down, muscularity down, muscularity up. Uh, I like the, the fact that you can make a chiseled character. I like the fact that you can take it off. Uh, it's cool. It's cool. And if you go weight full, muscularity full, yeah, you got some bulk on there. You still get to like sort of tone it a little bit or you get to spread it out a little bit. It's up to you. You know, it's up to you. Um, I think somewhere in the middle is generally the best, but it doesn't really matter all that much. Muscularity max. That, that's my jam, obviously. Uh, yeah, there you go. You, you can do the, uh, the boobs. You can do the posterior dimensions. It's a good system. It's, it's, it's really, it's a good system. Uh, and they do allow you to zoom in as, as closely as you'd very much like to. Uh, I don't know how I can... There we go. That's how you scroll. So if you want to really, like, really get in there on the calves, you can really get in there on the calves. That's it. Look at this. Get them pumping. You see? <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a cough video now. That's how the customization works. You have uh, access to... A whole lot of different sections of the body can't make the arms or legs longer can't set the height of your character but you you can customize enough uh, your body shape you know you're not going to spend all that much time looking at your character's body i'm pretty sure for the most part this is what you're going to be focusing on so with that said uh, the muscularity and the weight does not really affect the face as you can see it it sort of um, skips it entirely and you basically end up, for the most part, and, and this is something, by the way, that I sort of mis, not misjudged, but, but said wrong early on. You, for the most part, don't really have any of the other effects crossing over to the body, but the aging uh, does seem to, in some cases, see, there. Okay, so like down here, you have like, I guess what you could call these must be stretch marks or something. Uh, you change the muscularity, you, you add the weight, you get, you get like a little bit, but like, honestly, it's, it's very little. Like, it, it, it barely does anything. You can see, like, there's some, like, crow's feet on the armpit. I didn't even know that was a thing. But, like, you get some crow's feet on your armpit when you set this up. It's, like, it's it's barely noticeable. On the face, however, when you set the aging up, it is noticeable. Uh, and, and you know, you, you see a little bit, especially around the eyes and the mouth. Uh, it's 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 a setting. It's a setting, you know. Uh, it's something that, that definitely affects the way you do things. Uh, freckles. Yeah, you can throw a lot of freckles into the mix. It's cool. I like I like this the setting right here, and then scarring. Uh, this is just on the face. This doesn't go on the body. It's it's also a funny setting. It just adds little blemishes, little scars, little sort of spots here and there. Not much, not much. Then your complexion. You can be super duper pasty white, or pretty dark, or anything in between. We're gonna go super duper pasty white. Uh, just because, I don't know, there's no real reason for that. And I'm going to sculpt. I'm going to sculpt. This is how the sculpting works on the face. It's kind of nice. This is a nice face to sculpt, actually. You grab a piece of the face. You just grab it. You just take, take your mask and you grab it and you pull it around. You can do a lot of interesting stuff. Sometimes you can make things that look ridiculous, stupid, uh, out of place. Other times, you can make actual beautiful creations i think it's a cool system i keep saying it i also keep saying that it's one of the systems that i feel like one of the styles of character creation that i feel like takes a little bit more skill you need a certain deftness to your touch and it's not for everyone i i suggest that if you just want to play the game and have a good time then you don't want like a hideous abomination staring back at you i suggest you sort of just pick one of the templates randomize a bunch of times find something you like don't don't pull on the sliders too much it is however quite easy to and this is very important to note it's easy to randomize right 
and then and then think oh this is nice uh, but you know I just don't like the jaws quite as wide uh, I'd like the cheeks to be a little a little less protruded and then I'd like the nose to be a little thinner okay uh, and then and then oh that bridge let's bring it up a little bit and then you think to yourself boom a bit skinnier here you think to yourself boom 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 that's a nice character. You know, it's it's as simple as that. And I, I think that that's where the beauty in the system lies. And if you make a mistake, the history bar down here can just help you scroll back as far as you'd like. It's kind of cool. Mm, I like the t-shirt. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it's kind of cool. So you can sculpt. That's the sculpting system. It's nice. It's a good system. Eyes. You get to choose the way your eye looks. Not much here. Uh, I, I was hoping that like one of the other races might be you know they'd consider themselves more technologically advanced and sort of more uh, in touch with technology and they might have some cool special eyes or something that does not seem to be the case absolutely not it, it seems like for the most part everyone just has the same and and again like a lot of these options are going to be the same so if you jumped in here and you're like thinking to yourself mm, i'm going to watch kalente and then i'm going to jump into uh, minmatar and i'm going to check them out and i'm going to watch the whole thing you don't have to watch the whole thing like skip through it or something i, I know that's like you know, I should be saying watch the whole thing. It's good for analytics, but like, I, I understand. You know, I do understand. I've made a lot of these videos. I've done a lot of character creation. I can tell you with very much certainty there aren't that many big changes. Uh, for the most part, lots of these options are the same. I'm just covering all of it because I know that there are people out there that sometimes have their heart set on one or the other, and uh, that's how you should be. You know, you should you should go into this with conviction, certainty. Oh, there's some there's some blush on the cheeks. We'll get to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the root color to white, hair color to black, and we're going to see the contrast on them. We're going to move on to the hair now. So that dad on the top there is the the root color. It it looks like there's a light shining on her head, uh, but no, that's not the case. I'm not sure what the heck is going on with the eyebrows there. I guess it's taking the root color. Okay. There we go. That's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. Sometimes it looks good, natural, nice, uh, fits. Other times, no. Other times, no. <laughs> uh, and, and again, the reason I'm doing this is because you can see there's the root color, there's the main color, and, and you can look, sort of like choose, you know, based on what you personally like to do. It's just so you can see where the, uh, the hairstyles and stuff uh, have their shades and highlights. It's cool. That's a nice style as well. I, I like when they really like mix it in and mix it up. This is my favorite of the Mohawks. I, I feel like if I make a character, that's probably going to be the hairstyle I pick. Uh, either that or one of these pixie cuts with like the untidy mess of hair. Like this one, for instance. I kind of like this one too. For some reason, this one makes me feel like it's a little too voluminous at the top here. And like because of that, it seems like the head is bigger than it should be. Uh, I also like this style a lot. This one's better. This is like a better, yeah, this is more me, I think. This is basically my hairstyle. I to the R to the L, you know? I could be a Galente Jinmei female. Hell yes, man. Hell yes. Let's take that one. Okay. Eyebrows. Zoom. Probably some of, if not the most detailed eyebrows in any game. It's fantastic. These are good eyebrows. These are good eyebrows. You get to change the color over here. Uh, it, it takes from your root color. So if you like pick a, a darker color here, a lighter color here, any color here, then you get to be sort of, you know, wherever you want or in between. Makeup. Let's check the makeup. Out. So by the way, I want to point out hairstyles. There's nothing new there. That was the same as the Amara. Nothing new. So eye color. This is the, the eyeshadow. Uh, I'll put the one on a light color, and I'll put the one on a, let's put it on like on a red here, and on a pink there. It's nice. It's nice. Oh, no, red and pink are too similar, so, oh, okay, wait, these are, let's take red and, or oh, let's take blue and pink. There we go. That's better. Oh, and the opacity can be full. There. Oh, okay. Nice, nice, nice. I mean, there you get a bit of both, huh? That's really cool. There you get both, top, bottom. Yeah, so you can make some really cool stuff with this. I, I personally like these ones a lot. Hmm. 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 Lots of different colors here. Uh, you know, obviously some of them will look better. Some of them will look worse. 
Uh, obviously, some of them will look good on a darker skin, some will look good on a lighter skin. You can sort of use your imagination with that and sort of decide what you'd want to do. Uh, let's take this off for now, though. Uh, turn the opacity down, just so it doesn't interfere with what we're looking at here. In terms of the eyeliner, uh, you don't really, you don't really eh, have have all that much. It's like, eh, there's a bit, there's a bit. It's 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 all right. It's a good thing that they have this here, and I think that you could make it work in specific situations. But because of the fact that they only have the, the four colors that they have here. It's a little harder, I think, to, to throw it into the mix. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it looks kind of natural, so it's okay. Different types of blush, only two. Uh, I think it's one more forward and one back. Yeah, yeah, so like it's one, it's over here, and then it's over here. Very, very subtle. Uh, let's take the blue one so you can see. Very subtle. Uh, it, might, it might actually just be bigger and smaller. It's like this one's here, that one's more spread out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's take it off. Lipstick. Um, I've voiced my opinion on the lipstick in this game. I I think that it's all right. Like I think that there are specific situations where the lipstick looks really good, um, and they and they look. It, you know, they they have a few a few decent options here, but like it it could probably have been a little bit better. I like the lipstick though, and it it kind of looks nice on the character. It's a little intense when it's that dark, but when you make it lighter, I mean. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's lipstick. Clothes. Next up, we have clothes. Uh, this is always interesting. I actually feel like the body modification should be above and the clothes should be the last thing that you customize. I don't know, man. Maybe it's just me. Uh, I like that we can have sort of a more casual look right here. Do I have blush on my cheeks? Excuse me very much right now. Is that blush? Or is that just what she looks like? It's whatever. Leave it on. Okay, clothes. Let's look at the outer first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of these outers are shared. Uh, so, like, these are sort of Galente wide. All the Galente have them, but they are, like, one or two that are sort of unique to this faction. Like, I don't know if this one was on the other one, but that's a really nice jacket. Top. So I'm getting a more casual feel from these. Absolutely. More casual. That's is that a good thing? Yeah, I think it's a good thing. More t-shirts, more vests and stuff like that. You even have that one like I showed you guys just now. This one with like the picture on. I don't I don't know what the picture is, but it's nice. It's cool. It's cool. We'll leave that on. Bottoms. Uh, and then obviously you get to do the tuck in, by the way. Like, I, I, I think it looks kind of great any way you do it. I'm going to leave it like this for now so that we can see the pants properly. Pants can also do tuck-in. Uh, it's over the boots. Oh, no, wait. It's the it's the feet that do the tuck-in where it's over the boots, under the boots. But yeah, that base, that's based on the, uh, the shoes that you choose. So when we get there, we'll look at that. For some reason, the spacers all like to wear leather. It's like, you think to yourself that if you're going to be sitting in the cockpit of a spaceship, like 24-7, you'd want to put like some comfortable tracksuit pants on or something. <laughs> Not some damn leather pants that are going to squeak and squawk every time you move. I mean, sure, man, whatever. Okay, I don't know what the future is going to be like. Maybe that's what everyone's going to be doing in the future. Oh, definitely more casual. There's stuff that looked like, I'd say this is like on the verge of being a sneaker. That's the closest you can get to being a sneaker, at least. Um, yeah, so I'm going to say one thing kind of weird to me here. Uh, you, they don't get to tuck or untuck the pants. What's going on there? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. No, that's still not the same. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it is the pants. Okay, so it's based on the pants. There you go. So you can tuck or untuck. Uh, kind of cool. Kind of cool. So, I wear. Let's have a look. Uh, these guys have shades and like can i be real with you that's cool as shit <laughs> that is really cool uh, especially if you're going to be like doing a photo of your character or whatever uh man yeah you want to look like you're in top gun because you're flying a damn spaceship that'll make people respect you okay 
it'll probably make people respect you a lot more if you can get a nice angle with like the the reflection on there and stuff like that very cool very cool uh there's even these ones <laughs> yeah yeah it's like woodworking glasses or something or if you want to be oh that's that is really sick yeah okay man that that feels like i'm actually in a sci-fi right now that's that's the one i'd pick just because uh it's like it actually looks a little sci-fi it's not old school top gun nonsense uh, I, I say nonsense when i was just praising it like three seconds ago but it's only because i saw the new glasses now so my mind has changed <laughs> okay body modifications let's go piercings eyebrows there's not much going on here these are the same as before by before i mean the same as on amar nose piercings yeah okay studs some uh, some stones studs and stones yeah hi yeah hello <laughs> oh god okay I, I was gonna say like it doesn't really matter i don't have to look on both sides but i, I said that last time and then they only had the styles on the one side. And then I went to the other side and they weren't there. Like here, as an example, they only have this on this side. It's not on the other side. Why? I couldn't tell you. I could not tell you at all. So these guys don't have the ear cuffs. Or clasps. Wait, did they have those and the others? Uh, I think that I feel like they might have had them. I like these earrings. Also makes me feel like I'm in a sci-fi, you know. I would have liked some like weird implant or something though. Like like that would that would be kind of sick. Some of them are on both sides. Hello? A lot of them are on both sides. There it is. I am not a massive fan of the, of the like of the of the earrings and stuff. Like they're cool, but like again, you know, I, I feel like they should have taken like a, a a page from. I'm not gonna say Cyberpunk's book, but like they should have been a little bit less conservative with this stuff, uh, and they should just go go hard on like proper sci-fi. You know, give people the sci-fi fantasy. Don't go halfway. These are nice. These are nice. This is what I'm talking about. This this right here is what I'm talking about. Like, just go hard. Believe in yourself. The shit that you're making is cool. Keep it up. Keep it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't hide behind normality. Chin stuff. Let's see. Uh, so... I think there's already a few differences on no there they are i was about to say on amara we had these little spikes but i think they're still here yeah and the camera yeah yeah there we go okay <laughs> i realize it's not actually a camera but it looks like a camera so okay that's it tattoos uh the moment of truth aha uh -huh. hell yes there's something different cool so you can change the color. Not a huge amount of choice where the colors are concerned. But if I'm being honest, it's fine. Uh, you don't need a huge amount of choice. I'll leave it on black for now. Those are the colors. You just saw them. Uh, you can change the opacity. Uh, they can look better or worse, I guess. But we'll leave it on the dark one here. And let's keep setting it to, to lower. There you go. And we can see what they look like. Uh, 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 these are different. These are different. And they look cool. Uh, they, they're more techy and stuff like that. Uh, the other guys, Omar had like a weird dragon that just didn't fit very well. At the kind of uh, these little dots are nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is what I'm talking about. I actually would have liked it if you could have like a combination of these, uh, but in any way you look at it, this is cool. This is definitely better. But you know, uh, I think in an ideal world, when you're making a character like this, you'd actually kind of want access to 
proper tech stuff that would look like these tattoos, then you wouldn't need the tattoos. You know? You know? Oh, so 36 different scars. Uh, these ones, I'm going to sort of jump through them pretty quickly because for the most part, they are incredibly faint. You can't change how, how visible they are. Uh, and, and like really you need the light to catch your character's face in like a very certain specific way uh, to be able to even see them uh, it's mm, you know like a lot of them are like that some of them are visible you know like wow okay there you can i can see that one easy easy but uh, some of them like if i'm looking from here you can just barely see that it's like a little crease in the skin like can you even see this one over here right now probably not it's yeah Again, another system I would have liked here is just a layer system where they could let you put like, you know, three scars on, it's over here, uh, four scars on, whatever, uh, and, and then you can combine stuff. So, same for a lot of the other stuff, like the tattoos or whatever, it would have been nice for a, to have a layering system for customization, you know. That would have been nice. I'm saying hmm at the like charred face <laughs> as if it's a pleasant sight but no it actually looks kind of good just like based on uh, what I've seen in other games it's not bad that's what I'm saying here it's on the side here can barely see that one as well yeah it's cool on the head and on the head on that side yeah it's cool it's cool it's cool it's cool it's cool it's cool and that's it uh, that's it for the females not going to randomize a lot or anything like that uh, because we did do that already at the start when we jumped in here but that's Jinmei female that's that's basically Galente female uh, you can once again as I mentioned uh, just imagine that it would look a little different if you're on one of the different bloodlines here but yeah well, let's, let's jump into Jinmei male let's see what they got on offer I'm wondering if there's anything different between the males and the females because obviously, well, you know, you, you want there to be something different, right? You want there to be a reason. This guy looks good enough. This guy looks pleasant enough to uh, customize. So, for those that are here for this specifically, we're going to be jumping in from the beginning with everything that's available. Uh, you can toggle the clothes on or off and you can change the muscularity and the weight. Muscles, less muscles. More muscles, less muscles. Weight, with muscles. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you can go. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can go pretty big here. I mean, not that big, but you can go pretty big. I don't know. I think there's a sweet spot to be found if you if you do muscularity full and you bring the weight like, because I feel like. If you don't, yeah, there we go. I was about to say, if you if you don't, if you don't watch it with like the, there, 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 the dimensions of like the chest and stuff, it can end up looking a little barrel chested, uh, and a little it could be a bit much, you know. But uh, it's cool. It's cool. I also like that when you go when you go weight all the way down, you actually lose a bit of the definition on the muscles. Is that is that realistic? No, probably not. But like, it just means that this guy is a little buffer than that guy, you know, and that's fine. It's whatever. So for sculpting, uh, you get to change those two things and then you get to change anything, anything you want. Uh, you want your, your, your lats a little spread out there. Cool, cool, cool. Get those, uh, get those stretched out a little bit there. You want to work on the biceps. Cool. The, the, the lat, oh, there we go. There it is. Can I do this from whiskers and work on the tricep now? The abs. <laughs> you can do what you want. Um, they they did not include uh, what I like to call package size, uh, but they did include posterior dimensions here. Once again, it's it's nice. It's good. You can you can sort of set this up nicely. You know, you can you can do what you want there. Uh, it's good. It's a good system. You get to change a lot of different things. Uh, and and it's kind of cool. I mentioned this on the on the Amara customization that when you go bigger, look at the veins. Boom, you make those muscles pop, dude. See, it's like yes, this is skinny legs. No, not not so much muscles. Uh, just not so not so buff and bulked up. Boom, arms are the same. Check. Look at that. Look at that. Oof, man. Very nice. Very nice. 
And yeah, all the parts that highlight you can actually uh, customize, you can drag around, you can do whatever you want with them, it's, it's cool. You can't change foot size, hand size, none of that stuff, but there's still enough to change and enough to customize to make it interesting. And that's it. That is it. It's a similar system on the face. We're going to be moving into that in just a moment. I'm actually going to, however, just take the facial hair off for a moment. That we can see his uh, beautiful chin. And then we're going to jump into the complexion and the age. I, again, I can't believe I actually mentioned early on in the video that the age doesn't really affect the body, but it does. It does. I just didn't see it because when I was looking at it then, it didn't. And, and on males, it like really does when you go from there to there. It really affects it. it it's, it's good. It's nice that you get that option. Uh, less so on the face. Faces all still look pretty youthful, uh, all things considered. Uh, but yeah, you get to change your age. It does affect everything a little bit. Uh, change the age and the muscularity and the weight and stuff, sort of combine them all to make whatever you want, you can get something that looks nice and different. It's cool. Uh, then, freckles. There it is, dude. Scarring. Eh. More scarring on male faces than on female, but still not a really big deal. Uh, skin tone. I am starting to more and more get the feeling that the skin tones are pretty consistent across all of the different empires. Like, you're not really getting that much different here. Uh, we'll go somewhere in the middle like that. And then let's look at some sculpting on the face. This face sculpting works the same as the body sculpting. You click on an area and you drag left, right, up, down. Uh, you do whatever the hell it is you want to do. Uh, you like, hey, that nose. I don't like that nose. I want it a bit longer. Boom. I want it a bit shorter. Boom. Boom. Down, up. You know, uh, I like the size now, but it needs to be a bit wider. There you go. You do what you want. I think it's a it's a kind of great system. You have a lot of control. Uh, I don't know if you can like because of the way it works. You could probably like you know a lot of people like to make characters that look like themselves. You could probably sort of try and uh, get a character to look like you, but you'd need to know which template to work from. So you need to know which of the of the different bloodlines you would most resemble, and then you could go with that and uh, and, and make something cool or interesting. They also, in many ways, base it, I'm going to say base it on reality. They they sort of don't, they don't let you change it and make it like completely alien or weird looking or whatever. Uh, and that's probably for the best, even though I feel like it really doesn't matter in a game like this. Uh, but yeah, sculpting on the face, it's a cool system. It's something that you should fiddle around with. Once again, this is a free game, so you can easily fiddle around with it if you'd like. Eyes. This is just the pupil, the iris, the uh, the details in the eye itself. How often do people get to look into your eyes? Uh, probably not all that often. How often do you get to look into your own eyes? Probably all the time. So you should make something that you like. Okay. Eye colors. I'm not sure if this is different across the races. Uh, I, I, I think we're looking at something pretty similar here. Uh, I, w I was looking at one of the others and I was saying, oh, wow, those are really nice icy blue eyes. And now I'm, I'm looking at these and I'm thinking to myself, there might not be as much blue available here and that might be the case uh, so you might have different eye colors on the different uh, bloodlines mm. yeah so here let's have a look do we have unique hairstyles root color is going to be dark the hair color is going to be light we, we flip in the script this time last time i had it the other way around check it out sir Look at us throwing curveballs left, right, and center. Decent hairstyles. Not bad at all. Some of them do benefit from the two-tone. Others do not. I think this might be a unique hairstyle. To This might also be a unique hairstyle. To like uh, Galente, I suppose. Uh, Amara might have had some different ones. I felt like the female styles were all the same. But these are definitely looking a little bit different. There's Why are there so many short styles? I don't know, man. Maybe they got statistics to back the fact up that everyone uses the short style. I don't know. I don't know. But as you can see here, you have like, what is it? Like one long style and it's dreadlocks. There's literally nothing else that's long. Everything else here is short. So that's what you're going to look like. I am curious. I am curious whether or not one of the others other bloodlines might have different uh, hairstyles i don't know i don't know i don't know let's pick mm. 
take a mohawk. Sure, sure. And let's make it dark. There we go. Okay, eyebrows. Let's zoom. Big brows, bigger brows, even bigger brows, sculpted brows, mm, thinner brows. Yeah, man. This eyebrows are actually a big deal. Like, they, they sort of make or break the way your character looks. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Facial hair color. Oh, okay. That's, pick, that's mixing between the two. Okay, here we go. Facial hair. So, I think... Like, I'm more and more getting the feeling that EVE Online characters and the world of EVE Online just doesn't really, like, they don't, they, they don't know, they, beards aren't a thing. It's like, beards haven't been invented yet. Maybe they need a few more thousand years. I don't know. I don't know. There are no full beards here. I don't know if it's got to do with their hair rendering system. I don't know if it's got to do with uh, hygiene or cleanliness or wearing masks or some nonsense like that. But they don't really like beards. Maybe the Mimitar have beards. Maybe that's the thing that we can look forward to on them. It's possible, right? Let's put some stubble on and call it a day. That's fine. Uh, you can change the hair color here, the beard color here, uh, based on, it's usually the root color. So if you take that, you know, it's sort of, yeah, there you go. See, that's the way it works. Okay, we'll, we'll leave the stubble on and let that be that. Next up, skin details. Eye details. It's just some like some blush around the eyes. Lash thickness. Yeah, I mean that doesn't change much. Cheek color. <laughs> yeah, cause cause never would they dare call that blush. That's your cheek color, guys. Man. I'm a little disappointed by that. Okay, lip color. No lipstick on the males. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's not even lip color, it's lip tone. It's like the most neutral stance you could possibly take on this whole thing. The most neutral stance. Clothes. Here we go. Time for clothes. I get the feeling that this is going to be very similar to the females. It's just how it works. Let's see if there's that nice red jacket. Or at least the black jacket with the red lines. Oh, is this the one? Yeah, same. Okay, cool. Uh, we're going to take the outer layer off. Oh, mid layer. Oh, they get a mid layer. Okay, take it off. Top layer. Which is actually the bottom layer. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of weird. Um, hmm. Yeah, don't know if they thought that one through. Hey, that's different than the females one. Cool. I like that shirt. Yeah. I don't know why, for some reason it reminds me of like Pokemon or something. Yeah, man, you, you get yourself a vest, get to show off the uh, muscles that you that you spend so much time toning in the character creator. Pants. Oh, and once again on the shirts, uh, you can do a tuck. You can't do the same as on females once again, but like you can just do some stuff here. Uh, but yeah, it's okay. It's okay. And the pants as well. It's the it's the shirt tucking over there at the top. Cool pants. Cool pants. Nothing to complain about here. Nothing too crazy here. Once again, no tracksuit pants. And at least this is... Yeah, that's sort of like a tracksuit pants, right? Hmm. Here you get to tuck uh, the... Or is it here? No, it's it's here. You get to tuck the pants into the, into the boots on some of them. Yeah, like this. I feel like this says a lot about a person, like, are they the pants over the shoe or into the shoe kind of guy? Like, I'm a pants over the shoe kind of guy, but if it gets to the floor and it hangs down the back, you have to roll it up once so it doesn't hang on the floor. That's me. That's me. What does it say about me? I don't know, man. I don't like my pants hanging on the floor. I don't want holes in my pants. Yeah. And then, then you could also say, you know, the choices that you could make on your t-shirt, whether it's tucked in or not, could say something about you too. I wear... Let's do it. Let's see how cool we could look here. Oh yeah, pretty cool. You can make like a hideous monstrosity of a character, throw some shades on it, call it a day. Look cool enough to, uh, you know, take over a system or something. That's that's the one, man. That's the one. That's such a cool set of shades. It's a little bigger than the female ones, as you can see. Uh, but it's kind of cool. Yeah. 
Next up, body modifications. Piercings. These will be the same as on the females, but we are going to go through all of them once again. Because we are covering everything in this video that is meant to be comprehensive. Hey, that's new. Hold on. Come back here. Wait, that might not have been... These weren't on the females. Yeah, okay. Unless I just missed these. I think I might have missed them. I apologize. If I did. Unless the females just didn't have them. No, these are different than the female ones. But like, it, it doesn't mean I didn't miss them. Maybe I missed them. There's definitely less uh, earrings though. Like a lot less. So it is different. I'm just wondering how different. Interesting. If this system wasn't janky, I'd have to click so far fewer times. Both sides. Okay. Lips. It just, it keeps getting stuck. Like I click and then it doesn't go and then I click again and it doesn't go and I click again and it doesn't go. Yeah, I mentioned before I kind of like these. Chin. Same as on the female, yeah. Yeah, so I might have just accidentally brushed over the eyebrow ones on female. Because, like, I just didn't see them. I want to say it's kind of unimportant, but... Uh, there you have it. Tattoos. These should be the same. Yeah, because it's like, these seem to be based on your bloodline. Uh, you can change the, the color on the tattoos. Blue, red, black, green, and white. I, I, I do the black one because it's nice to see. Well, let's do the red one. It doesn't really matter. Nice to see how, how they look if they're nice and dark. They obviously don't go around the back all the way. One side, other side, one side, other side. I, I don't usually use tattoos on my characters. I usually try to keep like a clean face. But I mean, in many cases, when the game actually gives you nice tattoos, where they look crisp and clear, uh, when they look like they actually sort of suit the style of the character and the style of the universe that you're playing in, then I strongly consider it. Scars should be 36. Yeah, exactly 36. Scars, I once again, I'm going to sort of jump through them quite quickly because they are very faint. They are very nothing. Uh, I, I think maybe in like the photography section of the character creation at the end, you, you might actually have a, a like a chance to let them stand and out and pop out a little bit and look sort of, you know, more menacing or, or scary or whatever you want. I don't know what your goal is when you put a tattoo on, but you might have an opportunity to do that. It's just sort of, you know, you know, it's it's not really a big deal anyway. And, and if it's in that specific a situation, then like how much is it really worth? Yeah. You know? I also think that maybe the skin colors would like affect it a little bit. I mentioned this before. Didn't really test it all that much. Uh, yeah, it's possible. I don't know what kind of monsters there are in the EVE Online universe. I don't know where you'd get those slashes from. Maybe a toddler. I've had a few cuts and scrapes and scars on my face from my daughter. It happens. You know, she's got sharp nails, man. Are they even... Yeah, I was going to ask if there are children in this world. I don't think I've ever seen a child in the EVE Online world. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's randomize a couple of times. Get out of body modification. We already randomized a few times, but we can do it again. Yeah. I mean, these guys are good looking. Once again, you can sort of throw these uh, these options onto one of the other templates back here. And honestly, you could probably come up with something pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you throw all these options onto uh, the uh, Intaki, you might. And I mean, this is something that I didn't really like check all that much. But like you might be able to find... Uh, something that works better for you i actually specifically wanted to look yeah they got all the same hairstyles only short i was checking if they have you might find something that looks a little bit better sort of more up your alley if you know what i'm saying but i mean that's it uh <laughs> god it's like i really want to sort of you know uh, go through these in a specific order but they keep shuffling them around we'll move on to the next ones uh right now <laughs> jeez 
Uh, that's it for uh, Galente. Next up, mm, Minmatar. I want to say, like, of all four, the empires here, Minmatar is starting to look the most intriguing to me. And I'm also looking at these characters' arms here, and I'm thinking, are they skinnier? Why am I imagining it? Like, they just look kind of skinny. Like, initially when I came into EVE, I was like, Galente, Galente, Galente. But now that I look at it a little more, now that I've read the lore, now that I know what all of these factions or empires are about, I'm like, I'm thinking Minmatar. Hmm. They seem the most scrappy, and I like that about them. Anyway, so, as we did with the others, we're going to jump in. We're going to check all the templates out available on the different bloodlines. The templates being the faces that they give you to work from. I guess in this case, the bodies might be a little different as well. I don't know. I just, I get the feeling that these bodies... Yeah, like, look at the legs, for instance. They look a little skinnier. Anyway, we're going to have a look at what's available on, on all the different bloodlines, and then we'll pick one and we'll customize first the female, then the male. So, let us jump in. Brutor. Oh, I mean, let us jump in. Sibestor. <laughs> oh, God, it just keeps moving around. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, 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 okay. So, we're going to randomize a bunch of times, then we'll jump back to the next one. You know, it's actually looking very similar to the Galente. Very similar. Like, if I zoom out, maybe I'll start feeling like it's a bit different. No. Well, there we go, but no. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. But, but yeah, like, I'm thinking very similar. Very similar. I mean, I guess this is, like, the more tame of the bloodlines. Let's go back. Check the males out. See, best store male. Yeah, I mean, they look a little different. Still, though, very similar. Seems like they have those uh, glasses there. I wonder if just these two, like Galente and Minmatar, have the shades. And then the other two don't, and they maybe have something else. Again, I would have liked some more, like, high-tech stuff, you know? Earpieces. Headsets or some nonsense like that. I don't know. I guess all that stuff is like built in, and that's like the problem, right? Because it's built in, you never get to see it on your actual character. Wait, what the heck? Oh, <laughs> God, I'm confused. Uh, it's, it's like I said, it just keeps jumping around. Okay. Uh, Verrochior. That's it. Verrochior. Let's have a peek. I've not actually been reading the, the descriptions. Uh, for the most part... You can see them as I select them here, but for the most part, uh, the reasoning is that this doesn't really influence your character all that much. Once again, it's sort of like your your backstory and stuff like that, and it's important to a lot of people, yeah, yeah, but like, um, not everyone really cares about that, so you can't see it as I go through it, uh, and I will also say that, uh, once again, it's not going to change really the way you, uh, not so much look, but the way you um, access everything in the world and all that, so... Yeah, it's a, it's a choice, but it's not that big a choice, so... Brocure, let's check this out. Mm, wow, okay. Yeah, these eyes are barely open. What the heck? Can you change that? No, that's the way they look. Okay. That's good. That's good, because it's unique. That's what I'm talking about right there. They need to have them look different, man. They need these different bloodlines and the different factions to represent at least something unique. Males. Yeah, once again, similar situation with the eyes, where they're like mostly closed. It's good. It's good. It's cool. It's cool. And honestly, these ones specifically, along with the females that we just looked at, they look different enough. Like, 100%. I'm hoping that these look even more different, the Brutor. Let's peek. Let's check. Hmm. 
Hmm. Ah, so I'm just getting lucky with the skin tones. Oh, the skin tones. It doesn't randomize the skin tone. I completely forgot about that. Like I mentioned it earlier. But yeah, so these ones, you want them to be on a darker skin tone. And I'm not going to say you're ruining it by changing the skin tone. But like you can clearly see that that's what they were going for here. Uh, so when we do customize, I guess, you know, we, we should keep that in mind. If we're going to make one of these characters for ourselves, boom, boom, boom. They look better with a darker skin tone. I mean, they look the way you want them to look, I guess, at the end of the day. Uh, nice big eyes. I see the nose is barely changing. Barely changing. Which is good as well. It's a defining feature. You need more defining features on these characters. Okay, so if we randomize here. But as I've been coming in and randomizing just by the by, they have been selecting the color that they think is, is the best. Okay, so we're definitely doing these ones for the customization. 100%. Like, this is probably the far and away the most unique male that we've seen so far strong facial features like different emotions on the face nice lines here nice lines that we can probably customize quite significantly yeah dude this is cool this is cool i like this dude minmatar for the win i'll take it okay so that's that's the three of them sebestor uh verrochior and brutor what would I go for? Probably Verrochior. I don't know. Um, maybe Sebestor? Sebestor? Sorry. <laughs> God, man, these names. Oof. They're difficult. Uh, that would be my personal choice, one of these two. Uh, but I mean, I actually... I was, Yeah, man. I like Brutor as well. I think, once again, they look kind of unique. And that's that's something that you should sometimes go for. Uh, I, was, I was like, you know, asking whether they are skinnier. Uh, but I think that if you're looking at it like this... Uh, and you and you just check in and this is just something that i'm quickly doing for my own curiosity and you just check in like the way your character looks uh, if you pull the weight down and then you pull the legs like all the way in uh, i guess that's what they did on the on the preview over there but to be honest with you i'm still not really seeing it i think that they're misleading a little bit with the previews there because look how skinny i made the legs there it's not the, and then look at these legs like like look at the thigh gap that you're working with Maybe it's just the pose. It's probably just the pose. I'm overthinking it. But anyway, these, these kind of look a little skinnier. Uh, it also might be the outfits. They've got these vests on that make them look sort of, um, you know, bulkier in the middle, skinnier arms, whatever, whatever. Uh, let's jump in. I'm going to do Brutor. I just think that these, these ones are, are slightly more unique. Uh, and I dig it. I dig it. So, customization. Let's get to sculpting. Take the clothes off. Firstly, muscularity. I like having it maxed out, but you can have it anywhere you want. Uh, at the bottom, in the middle, at the top. Uh, weight. Yeah, there you go. You can sort of do what you want with that too. Uh, I, I think it's it's cool. And then and then as you as you sculpt these, if you look if you pull that back and in a little bit, then you can actually see the muscles over there. Again, I think this is one of the better sculpting systems in gaming right now. I don't know which other games do sculpting like this. I don't know if BDO maybe does this or whatever. But, like, I feel it, it, is, it understands the anatomy quite well. And I think that the, the choices that you get to make here are, are cool. They, they work. They, they sort of shape themselves in a natural enough fashion. You know? It's cool. It's nice. It's nice. Anyway, you get to sculpt many different parts of the body. Uh, all the way down here you get to do like the calves you get to do the legs as you increase the size especially on the males you can see that the muscles are getting bigger like for instance if you pull the arms bigger uh, like that you are actually sort of giving your character a little bit more in terms of muscles around the arms you're not just like increasing the weight there with the weight comes more muscles you know it's it's a bit of both uh, especially on the males you will see when i when i customize the males so the sculpting, you get to do a whole lot of cool stuff here. Uh, you get to make your character look the way you want. It's nice. It's nice. Posterior dimensions, always a plus. Uh, boobs, yeah, man. Yeah, you do what you want with your boobs. Fantastic. And the face, it works in a similar fashion. So we're going to move into the face now. And have a look at it. Have a quick peek. Uh, the muscularity and weight does not affect the face. Complexion can be changed. Uh, you know, you, you, you now saw that they kind of suggest... 
having your complexion down here and because we haven't really customized that many with the complexion like this we're going to go on the darker side and we're going to see how it looks i'm actually going to change the hair quickly though so we can see the face a little bit and then we're going to pop the aging up and see what that looks like barely any change there a little bit got some frown lines going on there crow's feet yeah okay a little bit more around the inner eyes here on the lips uh cool 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 and then obviously on the body as well like very little uh, again i apologize for earlier in the video missing this but yeah there it is it actually does change a little bit it's mostly around the stomach nothing else really changes on the arms or the legs or whatever uh let's go in freckles not super visible uh, when you when you have the skin color and because of that let's just throw some on and leave them there scarring it feels like they just add a little bit of texture to the skin you know that's what they do it's cool it's cool now facial sculpting the way this works you click and drag that's it you get to move around you get to do what you want uh, you get to be very careful because this is where mistakes are made uh, you can you can sort of make or break your character here by by doing some nasty stuff with the cheekbones <laughs> and then wondering why it doesn't look so good uh it's yeah it's nice it's a good system I, I dig it i think it's lots of fun to play around with uh, i think that in many situations it would be more fun if it was even more versatile or let's just say even more free that's probably the word i should use uh, if they gave you even more like uh, leeway to to like stretch you know but but again you sort of get into a point then where it, it might make your character look a little unnatural so you get to change that and you get to um, sort of sculpt it. And when you randomize here, that's actually the reason I'm randomizing quickly, is to show you that they that they change basically everything about it. And you can get some distinctive styles. You can get some pretty unique looks. Uh, it's nice. Like you can see on this face, for instance, it's got some scarring on the skin. Uh, I'm not sure what the... Yeah, one one tick of scarring. I was going to say, I'm not sure what the age is, but I see over here it's, it's empty. Um, you got those eyebrows that never make sense to me. Uh, but yeah, it's cool. Let's jump into the eyes. Next up, the sculpting is nice. I like it. I like it. You get to choose the color. It's a decent selection. There are a few different uh, like sets of these palettes that they give you. Uh, each of the empires has a different one. Uh, I think that the Amar thus far might have had the most interesting colors for the eyes, but I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I think, was it them who had the icy blue eyes? I don't know, man. I just I just remember seeing icy blue eyes. These are the pupils and iris changes. Like, bigger, smaller, basically. There's also changing some of the texture, as you can see inside there. Not much. Not much. Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Then, hair. Always the interesting part. I, I mention this almost every time, but like... It, it, in many situations, ends up being my favorite part of uh, character creation and customization is the hair. Because there's always cool stuff you can make with it. And yeah, I mean, I've done a lot of character creation videos. And, and in all of them, uh, I generally tend to to like how the, how the hair gets customized. Let's change this around a little bit. I'm going to put a lighter color over there. This might be a unique style to Min Matar. I'm pretty sure it is actually, uh, as are some of these other braids like this one. And can I tell you something? Little, little secret that I'm thinking I'm seeing right now. I'm almost certain, not 100%, but I'm almost certain these were added recently. Whereas if you look at some of the other styles, let's take as an example, it doesn't really matter, this one. Uh, this is an older style that must have been in the game for longer. I know they redid the character creator a while ago and like they added a bunch of stuff to it. But uh, I, I can quite clearly see that the texture work and like the the, the, the clarity and like the, the crispness and and for the most part just the, the overall quality of of the, the hair is insane on this dude. It's so sharp. It looks really good. So, like, I thoroughly recommend these just because they seem to be of higher quality. Like, these ones are nice, but, like, you know, your 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 detail on them is not so impressive. But, yeah, for the most part, same hairstyles as the others. Same, same. Same, same. Again, uh, that's your one color. That's your other color. I wonder if there are more braids. 
I mean, that's to be honest, there's been enough. I don't need more. These are all the same. No, okay, so that's it. Those are the braids. That's the bald one at the end there. Yeah, I like I like this one where it hangs down the side. This one. That's a nice one. Yeah, that's super. You get to change the eyebrow color. Uh, you have it either one way or the other. It can be darker towards the uh, the hair color or towards the root color, whichever one you want. Uh, then we can look at the eyebrows. Hmm. All right. Makeup. Eye shadow. Because we have a darker skin right now, we might be able to do something cooler with this. I'm going to pick white on the one and red on the other one and see what happens. Opacity, max it. Um, it's like a little bit on the side and then on the inside. You got someone like the actual eyelid and then some on the uh, upper part there. Cool. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Interesting. I mean, it's hideous, but it's interesting. <laughs> there you go. All right, eyeliner. Uh, opacity is maxed. You get a couple of different colors here to choose from. Let's take the white one. You can see it quite clearly. See what it actually looks like. Hmm. Cool. I mean, they all look exactly the same to me. Blush. I don't like the blush. Same on every single female character we've seen so far. I don't like the blush, dude. The lip color, that's something else. I like the lip color. Like, I like how, how the gloss looks. I think it's very well done. Uh, I think it's a nice sort of... I want to say a nice system that they've got in place here. It looks good. It looks good. I'm going to leave it on, actually. Take all this other stuff off. Clothes. Did I get everything in the makeup? Yeah. Clothes. Let's do this. Phew, those are some shiny, shiny, shiny lips. It's distracting, actually. Okay. This is the outer. Cool. These are mostly the same jackets. These are these are nice. Now, I want to I wanna show quickly just the fact that you are... If you can find a vest quickly... Yeah, you are working with a nice little like sleeveless here. Uh, so you must keep that in mind when you're customizing that the sleeveless is sleeveless. You could have put a vest on or a t-shirt or something to look better. I think these are like the trademark looks for the uh, Minmatar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here and then I'm going to put one of those back on when we're done. Just so we can get that trademark look in. I want to say it's like a bit of a pity that you can't customize things too much. That's the Minmatar logo, right? Interesting choice. It's a pity you can't customize the clothing all that much, but like, eh, does it really matter? <laughs> Not really. I think I think that uh, when you're in your ship and when you're sort of chilling, it's like, it's fine. It's fine. Let's go with the darker one. This one. Let me pop the jacket on. Fantastic. Bottoms. Uh, once again, you can change the tuck of the shirt. You can sort of make it crop a little bit if you want. I like... I, I like that crop. And then I like the all the way up crop. It's also... This one's also quite nice. I, I think it, it sort of depends on what you're feeling like on the day. I don't know if you can really customize this after the fact, but yeah. Depends on what you're feeling like, I suppose. See, jeans have been phased out in the future. Jeans no longer exist. They got camos though, but it looks like leather camos. So it's, it's, oh, this all looks like leather to me. I don't know. That's a unique Minmatar one. I'll definitely put that one on feet. Uh, and with the pants, you get to tuck the shirt in or not. It's whatever. Boots. And with these, I don't know. It's like a minor difference, but with like with this, for instance, you can sort of take it over or tuck it in. For the purposes of showing them off, I will do it like this. Cool. Uh, I mean, I don't know what I really like here. I like the I like the heavier boots generally. I think they look nicer. But I also like having them uh, stick over. Like, I like that's better. It's, it's sort of, I don't know. 
Having the pants be all the way down to the bottom is cool. I wear. This is the same, I think, as Galente. It might be a little different. Like, some of these frames might be different. Some of the colors might be different. Don't know. We'll see when we get to the end. No, these are these are almost identical, I think. They are they are probably identical, yeah. Let's put the shades on. That looks kind of cool. Well, I mean, okay, I can't because I'm going to go body modifications now, so... Much as I'd like to put the shades on. Ooh, hey, they have interesting looking tattoos. Kind of keen to get to that. Okay. Eyebrow. I mean, they call this an eyebrow piercing. I don't know about that, man. Last I checked, my eyebrows weren't up here in the middle of my forehead. Listen, listen, listen. Let's check these out. Hello, hello, here we go. Okay. Not a huge fan of these. I, I, I realize that some of these they've put a bit of effort into. Some of them look quite nice. Uh, they're okay, you know, they're okay. But it's not really anything that sort of... It doesn't, it doesn't really dazzle me, you know. They're okay. This, this is all I'll say about this. Like, while this character creator is pretty phenomenal, the, the piercings and stuff are just... Okay. What are we looking at here? Why is it not working? There we go. Uh, those two were unique. I think those first two. There are 33 different styles here. So I wonder if there's going to be something unique here. Something else unique. I don't remember there being 33 on the others. Then again, I don't really remember. So those are the hoops that we just passed there. Maybe they were 33? Oh, those are big. Yeah, I think maybe they were 33. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I'm just misremembering. Oh no, I mean, are these new? Dude, it's like, it's all a blur. Yeah, I think it's the same. Lips. This looks really nice with the... Uh, with the lipstick on. Yeah. Cool. Nice. I like these ones at the start here. I don't know which one specifically. I don't like the idea of having what looks like a diamond ring hanging on the lip there. Sure, whatever. Okay, chin. Uh, keep in mind that you can have all of the piercings on at the same time. Yeah, these are the same as well. Okay, tattoos. Uh, I wonder if I should remove... Nah, let's just keep the lip lipstick on. That's fine. Oh, there's a lot of tattoos here. Cool. Okay. Capacity maxed. I'm going to take the darker one so we can see them. That's cool. It's sort of like almost tribal, but also a little bit sci-fi. No, you know what? It's not... I wouldn't call this tribal. Wouldn't you guys say this is more like uh, along the lines of like Aztec or something? I, I think there's probably a proper word for it. It's it's a funny it's a funny design. It's sort of it actually mostly those ones remind me of like Horizon Zero Dawn, where it's like mechanical meets beast. These are cool. Hmm, these are really cool. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Oh, <laughs> I know that from Greedful. That's my captain's insignia, basically. That's, that shows that I'm a captain of a ship, man. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, I, I kind of like these. These are these are the most unique so far, especially this one. Cool. Scars. I have to take this off to see the scars, unfortunately. Uh, 36 scars, exactly the same once again. Uh, yeah, you can make some pretty cool stuff if you combine all of this. But the scars are, like, so hard to see, man. Like, 
it's so hard to see. But, yeah, you know, uh, again, I mentioned before, like, hey, maybe you can see them better on a darker skin tone. We've got a darker skin tone here. Can I see them better? Uh, only just. Only just. Only just. It's fine. It's fine. You know, they serve their purpose. Uh, you know, if you're looking for a scar, you'll find a scar. It's fine. It's fine. They're fine. It's just not that I'm I'm not going to be writing home about the scars, you know. I'm not going to be uh, calling my mom up in the middle of the night to tell her about this amazing uh, facial customization system in EVE Online. Uh, these scars are not... Where is it now? There it is on the side. It's fine. It's fine. They're okay. Let's put... Let's put... Where the slash is, there they are. There you go. And then let's actually go back to skin complexion quickly. Darker. Yeah. So on this darkest one, you do get sort of a good look at, at, at the scars. But it's still, in my opinion, uh, not that big a deal. Not that great a, a sort of visual style. But it's okay. It's okay. You can make some pretty cool stuff. Yeah. I Look, if I'm critiquing my own creation here, I'm saying that the makeup doesn't suit it. So lipstick needs to go off. Uh, the, the, the piercings are fine, but the lipstick was standing out a little bit much. That was a little sore thummy. Uh, so I would I would lay off on that. And then, and then maybe the piercings as well. It's like you're going for ex-military hardened vet kind of style here with the scar, with the hair, with the with the um, industrial vest type thing here. It's sort of, that's what you would be going for here. Anyway, that's the females. Let's jump into the males. I think we're going to see some cool stuff here. This is the Brutor male. I'm ready. Minmatar. Brutor male. Let's custom randomize once or twice here. Get a sort of decent looking guy. Let's take this dude. Yep, 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 yep. Now. Take the clothes off. The sliders. You get to customize this. And I'm sorry for people watching the whole video. I'm, I'm saying the same thing over and over again. But it's mostly for the for the benefit of those who are skipping through for the timestamps. Uh, you know, you, you sort of need to do that. Muscularity. Uh, super, super, super uh, impactful on the male characters. Less so on the females. I actually, and I, I might be wrong here. But I feel like on, on <laughs> I might really be wrong. But like, it feels like. On these uh, Minmatar guys, the muscles are even more pronounced. Like, you know, that feels like they are a little bit more protrudy, a little bit more chiseled, a little bit more sort of buff. Uh, again, I like the system uh, where when you sl slide this bigger, the veins pop a little bit more. You know, it, it like really, it like really defines the muscles a bit. I feel like this is a sweet spot where you can get like, there you go, like that. Muscularity full weight doesn't really matter all that much like on males the weight is less impactful than on females i feel but with the sculpting system you get to change everything you get to sort of uh, drag a little bit here drag a little bit there push a little bit there you know, squeeze a little bit here you know you get to do some stuff uh it's it's all on you it's all on you there's some nice things to do you can you can really make the character the way you want it to be uh, it would have been cool if this had a little bit more but Again, and I mentioned this multiple times already, based on the type of game that this is, you have plenty choice here. It's You don't need much more. This is EVE Online, you're sitting in a damn spaceship, you're not looking at your character's butt all day long. You don't need much more. You don't. So, you get to change those. Then, complexion, we're over here right now. Uh, you can go darker, you can go all the way to the lighter side. Uh, yeah, it, 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 to be honest, it looks a little weird. Uh, I, I'm going to stick with, let's say, this one for now. Aging, uh, it does affect the whole body. A little bit, a little bit. But mostly the face. It mostly affects the face. Freckles. Uh, the freckles are cool. Uh, not so impactful, again, on the, like, darker skin tones. You barely see them. Uh, so, I'd say for the most part, you can just leave them off. Scarring. It just adds some, like, you know, texture to the skin. Eyes. Before we go to the eyes, sculpt in the face, actually. I keep forgetting. Face sculpt in. 
probably the defining feature of this character creator. You get to click and drag. It's an intuitive system. It's a smart system. It is a dangerous system. Sometimes you can take it too far. Like in this specific case right here. Sometimes you can take it too far. <laughs> okay. Uh, I recommend you don't. I recommend you don't. You can actually just angle the ears like this for better hearing. I recommend you do not. Okay? Uh, because it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. Okay? <laughs> anyway, let's carry on. Eyes. This is the iris and pupil. Texture of the eye as well. It changes sort of a little bit in there. I can't zoom in even further. Uh, if I'm like actually sort of weighing in on the texture work and how the faces look and stuff here, I'd say this game could probably allow you to zoom in further without looking bad. Generally, that would be the reason that they wouldn't allow you to zoom in. But this game has some pretty good looking characters. Eye colors. They feel like they don't matter too much when, you're, when your character's eyes are, are smaller like this. Uh, it's they, they, they okay, like the eye colors are there, but you barely see them. I suppose also if you have like a paler skin, you will notice them more or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Here, the interesting part. Let's go. Let's see what's unique. I'm going to pick a color that I feel matches it. Uh, we're going to... there let's just do a dark brown and a black let's take it away with this again some of the same ones and then some unique ones but not as many unique ones as the females which is unfortunate because i like those female styles you know those those dreadlocks on the females kind of nice uh, and I will, again, criticize the game for not having enough long styles on mail. Uh, I don't know what it is with this future that they've created here. But there's one style here. You can't even have a ponytail. Like, what? Maybe there's a lore reason behind it. You know, maybe there's a... I, I, dude, I don't know. Maybe there's a rule in place. Huh? Maybe, maybe if you join the military, then you need to have a certain style. I don't know. I don't know. Okay? I don't know. Eyebrows. I can't really criticize it if I don't know the reasoning behind it, uh, but they didn't make it clear here, so these eyebrows suit this guy, as do these. Little, little like, you know, little up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, facial hair. Let's see if we can get something slightly more beardy here. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Game forsakes beards. Beards don't exist in the world of tranquility. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. I would have liked it if there were beards. Uh, this is fine. We'll put a little fluff on the chin. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Eye details. It's... Yeah. I mean... It is what it is. We're taking it off. It's nothing special. That's what I'm saying. Eyeliner. Sure, let's leave the eyeliner on. Cheek color. Well, I mean, you know, blue or whatever that other color is. What is that? Like a murky green or some nonsense? Nothing special. Lip tone. I feel like I'm going to mention it every time, but I'm disappointed that there's no lipstick. Even though, again, like when I made the lipstick super glossy on the females, I, I did think it didn't really fit, but yeah, whatever. Clothes. I'm ready to be wooed. Oh, they get the nice big jackets. The females did not. Hmm. But they also get these cool vests that the females had. Oh, so the males, they are winning this. I'll take this one. This looks kind of nice. Top. Uh, I mean, I'll take it off for now and then I'll put it back on after. some unique shirts here and they don't have the one with the Minmetal logo on so that's very interesting very interesting let's put a jacket on like this that's kind of nice nice and brown 
Uh, you get to, with your shirts, change the tuck. Not much on males. You don't get to, like, do a crop top or whatever. Uh, don't see why not. These guys have nice bellies to show off as well. I'm all for inclusivity when it comes to styles, guys. There's the Minmatar logo on the... The Minmatar logo on the knee. Well, it's not the Minmatar logo. It's just that red circle, which kind of reminds me of Minmatar logo. I don't know what it is, man, but it looks cool. Okay, boots. With the boots, you get to uh, take it over or under. But we're looking at the boots here, so we're going to leave it under. Okay, not a lot of boots here. But mm, it's fine. It's fine. Cool, there we go. Yeah, I mean, this is an alright looking character. Um, it's not my best work. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I was against the eyewear. It's not my finest work. I feel like you throw these on there, it's just better. But, I mean, that's been the story. Oh, actually, you know what? These clear ones look nice. That's been the story so far, huh? Like, the story so far has been that you throw the shades on someone, they look better. Like, I would, I would throw the clear shades on this guy specifically. I think that sort of suits him. Yeah. Not for now, though, because we're going to be looking at body modifications. Let's check these piercings out. Eyebrows. Females did not have these. Uh, probably for the best. I wonder what they had to make up for it. I actually just can't, for some reason, I can't remember. Okay. He is low. Definitely less earrings on the males. Uh, it's fine. They make up for it by having some eyebrow styles. Then lips. Is it less lip stuff? No, it's the same amount of lip stuff. Same amount. Chin. Cool. Tattoos. These should be similar, if not the same as the female ones. You never know. You never know, they might throw a curveball at us. Okay, let's take the darker one. See what it looks like. I like these. I like these. Half techie. Half as techie. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of these are pretty cool. Do they have the one that comes out from the lips as well? Yeah, there it is. It's the one on the chin. You can't really see it, uh, but can I can I tell you, you don't need to see it. <laughs> it's not it's not the one you're gonna use. I'm just putting that out there. Scars. Thirty six scars. The magic number, hey. Thirty six scars. Yeah. So for this guy to complete the look, I would throw those those transparent shades on call it a day that's what I'd do it's on the chin <laughs> I'm like looking for it I don't know where it is it's under the beard it's under the eye on this side Far less painful if uh, it didn't keep getting stuck. If I didn't have to double click, triple click, quad click. I think if you combine that with aging, you'll probably get some pretty unique looks. Yeah, I mean, they're fine. The scars are okay. Nothing special. 
but they're okay. So yeah, if I'd go if I'd go back before I finish off here, I'd throw the eye away on, and uh, I'd call it a day. Yeah, that's kind of cool. But let's randomize a few times before we finish off here. Yeah, I mean, why not? Why not? I think it's it's clear based on what they did with the complexion when we came in that these guys will look better with a darker complexion. Uh, it's it's cool. It's cool. I don't know if I was imagining the muscle tone, but it felt to me like they had slightly more muscle tone. I think I was imagining it. I think I was imagining it. But yeah, you can have some pretty cool styles on these guys. It's nice. That's nice. And overall, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed by Minmatar. Uh, the bloodline's all pretty unique. Uh, it seems like they try to be a little inclusive with all of them, where they have like an Eastern one... Uh, at least one like uh, slightly exotic one and then they have one like more standard Caucasian it's good it's a good system I think that they that they're doing a good job with it okay final empire Kaldari these guys from the start I kind of thought to myself they would be slightly less interesting to customize just because they looked like the militant branch if you know what I'm saying <laughs> I don't know I don't know but uh, we have the uh, details Akura or Achura? It's so hard to know the pronunciation. And Severe. Once again, it's so hard to know the pronunciation. I'm so sorry. I probably butchered all of those. I I'm guessing this is Detais. And that's Akura. And this is probably Severe. Yeah, that's, that's most likely right. We're going to jump into this one first. Uh, we're going to start on this side. We'll just, as we did with the others, uh, randomize a bunch of times on each of them. Then we'll pick one. And we'll customize that completely and thoroughly and see what they've got that's unique. They seem to like blue. Or at least cooler tones for their outfits. Yeah. 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 And if you want to read about them, you can see the text right there. I'm sorry, I was a little inconsistent through this video with my coverage of, of all the text available. <laughs> it's like, I think halfway through I sort of forgot that I was busy reading everything. And then I stopped reading and then I came back to, and, uh, you know. It's a, it's a bit of back and forth, I apologize, but, you know, I, I do at least have all the visual stuff in here, and that's probably the most important thing. So, let's see what they got. You know, like, first impression is that it looks almost identical to some of the other ones we've seen, with a slightly different face, but, like, identical in terms of the, like, hair, uh, eyebrows. They have the shades as well. God, am I? Okay. Okay. It's like I've had this narrative right from the start where only certain of the empires have the shades i'm not sure if that narrative is true anymore and i'm, I'm like too afraid to go back and check <laughs> i'm really i'm too afraid to go back and check yeah okay so these ones look cool they look okay uh, there's nothing crazy or, or or out there about them let's check the males out let's detice once again oh i'm not looking at the outfits because we will check those in greater detail soon enough i mean i can I can. Let's look at a few faces, then I can look at some outfits. But I'm mostly just here to see what the guys look like, and what the girls look like, and what the different bloodlines look like, and, you know, if there's a big enough difference to actually warrant having different bloodlines, other than the story. Huh. Kind of looks like the uh, guy from the Jedi Fallen Order game. <laughs> but like a really scuffed version of him. Yeah, I mean, the outfits look pretty standard fair. Okay. Akura. Let's check this out. Oh yeah, this is a nice face. It's a really nice face. It, it does sort of... It, I'm not going to say it bother me, but it, like, it does irk me a little that the complexion doesn't change. But I understand why. Because they're giving you this template here. And this template here is clearly meant to work with the complexion, the skin tone that they've chosen here. So, they they end up basically just locking that one in, because again, that's the natural one for this uh, for this template that, you, that you're going through. Uh, and it's the same when you were like on Minmatar and you're checking out the... Um, <laughs> my, my, first, uh, my first guess was Bruja, <laughs> because of Vampire the Masquerade. But when you're on here and you're checking out the Brutors, um, it's the same thing. Because, like, you know, they, they work better with that skin tone that they have. It's locked in. Uh, so I, I guess it once again makes sense. It's just a smart system. 
it's a smart system where you can change it uh, but they recommend the complexion that they have these guys look very different okay i might have to customize these because these faces yeah this is different Slightly larger face, a little bit more real estate. I'm getting the distinct impression that we are once again not going to be receiving decent beards here. It is unfortunately the way of things. Unfortunately. Severe, let's go. Females. Okay. This face looks kind of familiar to me. I'm just trying to like, I'm trying to decide. Is it Cameron Diaz? I, <laughs> I don't know. Dude, that's like my go-to nowadays. When the eyes are just a little bit bigger than usual, I'm like, hey, Cameron Diaz. No, legit. Maybe Cameron Diaz meets Charlize Theron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe they don't even have to meet. Maybe just take them both, combine them, and you've got this. I don't know. Males, let's go. These guys look serious. They are serious, dude. Look at that square jaw. I just want... I have to do this. My own curiosity demands it. Wow! Uh, what's the... What's the Wolfenstein guy's name? BJ Blaskovitz? <laughs> Holy crap. I'm sorry. Wait. I'll save that one for later. <laughs> Man. What a face. Yeah, I like that. No, no, like, seriously, I do. I like that they give you this, because no, none of the other characters, no other Bloodline or Empire had such a square jaw. Like, I mean, this is taking Brad Pitt and expanding upon that, and that's saying something, you know? You know, if you get a jawline like Brad Pitt, you are blessed by the gods, but if you take that a step further, Jesus, Lord. Okay. <laughs> so, let's go into the full customization of the Kaldari Empire. I... I'm sort of looking at this and thinking to myself that uh, Detice, eh, too straightforward. Severe, not a bad idea. Akura, also not a bad idea. Let's go for Severe, because I, I think that the males here with their square jaws just give you like so much more. So much more. Once again, if you wanted to read this, you, you, you've had many chances to just check it out. Uh, it, it is lore. It is backstory. It's, it's RP potential. And it's always going to be that. That's the reason you're picking one of these, the bloodlines. That's your character's identity. Super important to some people. Highly unimportant to other people. You do what you do with it. You do what you do. So we're going to jump in right now. Severe, female, let's go. This is going to be basically the full Kaldari uh, customization. I'm going to say, like, straight off the bat, I feel like they are the most plain of the empires. But, like... At the same time, maybe that's a good thing. And like the males also do kind of look a little bit more like, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's take the clothes off. <laughs> First tip, take the clothes off. So, muscularity. Yeah, muscularity up, muscularity down. Uh, is there more or less muscularity? Like, I, I always come here and I think to myself, oof, it might be fantastic if some of them have... have more muscles, you know, maybe they do more manual labor in their lives. Maybe they maybe they they, they are just the fitter of the races uh, Maybe there are there are certain races that are, are slightly bigger in terms of their in, in terms of their bodies and stuff like that uh, I, I don't know. I don't know uh, But but like it's it's unlikely obviously that something like that's going on here It's it uh, from from what I can tell they all have exactly the same bodies But still like, you know, it would have been nice and it's it's again like, that's something that I feel like EVE Online could possibly build towards. Uh, and, and it's something that could be done over time. Anyway, you can sculpt the body. Everything from the neck up here, to the boobs, to the butt, uh, to whatever else you feel like sculpting. The system is cool. You click and drag. Uh, you, you have full control over, over these parts that you, that you can click on, that you can select. Uh, you, you can't make limbs longer. You can't, like, make the extremities different in any way you can't like drag the fingers and the feet and stuff but like you can you have control over a, a variety of things and and to be honest they they give enough to make your character look unique uh, i did just realize very recently that a part of the character creation process was actually removed that made me a little bit sad uh, and that was the um 
the camera camera booth like the photo booth that they had before because now your character is actually properly live in the game you know you like you can your character actually moves around and talks and stuff like that um it, it saddens me a little bit because that was actually part of the fun i enjoyed dressing my character up putting the background on like you know doing stuff like that but we'll i'll cover that at the end of the video uh let's do the face now so that was the uh the body and and all the sliders and stuff there now you can do the complexion i'm just going to remember that it's over here because that's the default one uh complexion can be you know pasty white uh, super dark and anywhere in between and it works you know it works uh, but this is the one that they recommend i suppose aging aging affects the face for the most part but it does also affect the body a little bit uh, it's it's really a little bit on the body especially on the females it's like a tiny little bit they get some stretch marks they get some wrinkles here and there they get some like you know it's like it's actually that's probably just a wrinkle i don't know man jeez don't ask me uh, there's like a, 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 a crow's foot at the uh, armpit armpit foot <laughs> i don't know and um yeah that's that's about it that's about it let's take the old one freckles more less i like a couple of freckles that's nice and then scarring uh, scoring's weird. Scoring's weird. I feel like on the males it's more impactful. On the females it's sort of just there. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. It does barely anything. Um, but yeah, it adds a little, a couple of blemishes and stuff uh, that that you could possibly uh, incorporate into your design. So yeah, it's it's there. It's a thing. Now for the face sculpt, then uh, I guess we can leave this hair on. It's fine. Usually I try to take the hair and and put it away out of the face, but this is fine. We can see most of the face. You can just click and drag. The sculpting system is fantastic like that. Uh, some of the bloodlines and and em empires i suppose have have more movement available more range others have less uh, it's a dangerous game that you play in here where you can quite easily mess it up and and make something hideous that you'd want to burn at the stake <laughs> but but um, you can also make something wonderful uh, it, it's it's you know that easy you can also make something wonderful it's like look i've now i i have irreparably damaged this nose i think it is impossible for me to get this back to looking natural uh, the nose is finished guys uh, let's just pack this one up uh, we are not going to be able to fix this <laughs> I, I don't know how I, I just don't know how how do i fix this nose what have i done like i think i've done something with a tip that's not right so let's make it a little bit wider but now the nostrils look wrong now now, oh, now it's too big again Somewhere over here, there's a something that's... Is that natural? No, it looks unnatural. I'm, I'm randomizing. No, I'm not. I'm... Listen. This is the bed I've made. I'm going to sleep in it. There we go. Boom, boom. Cheekbones for days. You can click anywhere. Do anything. You may have seen uh, just before when I was looking at the male characters and their jaws. You, these guys have significant jaws. We're talking David Coulthard levels. Uh, it's it's a big deal. It's a big deal. You can You can do whatever you want. Uh, and, you know, the system itself, being as fluid as it is, it does give you a lot of interesting options uh, to, to mess your character up. A lot of different ways that you can sort of make it look uh, terrible. Uh, and some ways that you can make it look nice as well. This one is is unique. This one's unique. This is a unique looking individual. There you go. Okay. I'm so sorry that you have to see this. I'm clicking randomize so you don't have to anymore. The sad eyes. Oh, there we go. Wow. What the heck? Is that Halle Berry? Okay. Eyes. Let's make the age a little older again. Even when you make them old, they, they age gracefully. Eye colors. Here we go. Uh, the eye colors. Let's zoom in for it. They are different as far as I can tell on the different empires. Like some of them have, have more colors. Some of them have less. Uh, but it's not much different. If if it is different, it's not much different. I don't know. I, I think they're different. Maybe not. Uh, but they are very much based in reality. Like, you don't get crazy out there colors. Uh, some of them are a little weird. Like, you don't expect to see... You don't see these eyes around a lot. Uh, I was mentioning, like, it would have been really cool if you could get more, like, cyberpunky options. More, like, you know, futuristic sci-fi type things. Uh, not really something that they seem to do. But let's take this for once. I have never had this before. Uh, I don't know how a blind spaceship pilot would work, but I mean, geez, it's the future, so maybe it's highly possible. Maybe it's a thing. Here. Here. Oh, and on the topic of like more sci-fi and cyberpunky stuff, I, I made the mistake of looking in the in-game store. <laughs> I, I'll say no more. 
I'll say no more. I'll talk about it at the end of the video. You can check the timestamps and you'll you'll see me talking about it. Hear me talking about it uh, at the end. It's in the section that would have been the... Uh, this is not really changing much because it's the root color. It would have been... It's the top there. Would have been the like the photo shoot section where we have the the quick look at like uh, the way you can customize your character's uh, lighting and, and background and stuff like that. But that's been removed, uh, much to my dismay. So we'll leave that dark and we'll change the main hair color and see what we've got. I personally really like dark hair colors in this game, uh, but I think when you add a little bit of uh, color to it, the, like when you spice it up with some blue or red or whatever, it can also definitely work. Uh, the lighter colors, yeah, I mean, why not? We could always try, as we go through here, uh, maybe like, that's beautiful, see, that's really nice. Maybe we should try like a gray, you know? That's a white, that's a gray. Let's try a gray with some with some dark in. Let's look at the different styles. We have a really good looking character here, so... It's a nice face. I made the face a little older. A little more mature. Hmm. Not too bad. Nice cheekbones. I think I might have pulled them out a little too far. <laughs> I mean, they're nice, but like, hmm. Yeah, this is a very interesting visual style that I've got here. I mean, nice face. Like, that needs to be said, right? Nice face. Hmm. Now, now, in case it wasn't clear, you can change the colors. You can use your imagination for that. These colors, the root color is the one at the top there. The uh, hair color is the one like at the bottom. You can change them as you see fit. I'm going to take a gray hair color and I'm going to sort of like, you know, I, I don't know exactly what I'm making here. I, don't, I never really know what I'm making. But it's whatever. It's whatever. We'll we'll choose this and sort of roll with it. Sure, why not? Uh, no, not sure why not. I can't see the ears. I need one where I can see the ears. That also looks decent. Okay, we're going mohawk. Where's the mohawk now? How did I lose it? There it is. I can definitely see the ears there. Okay. Eyebrows. Uh, you can change the color. You can have them be like darker or you can add the, the, the color of the hair to them. Different types of eyebrows. Let's make them darker so you can see them. It's the same on basically every character, male and female. Some slightly less kimped, some slightly more kimped. It's like you don't even have the ones with like the, the scars through the middle or whatever. Uh, it's not it's not the greatest showing that this system has had. Uh, makeup. Mm, makeup. You know, <laughs> makeup. Let's see. Let's see what we got. So this is the uh, eyeshadow. Turn the opacity up. Let's take a white one or like a orange one. And then let's put this one on like green. And then you can see the two or black. There you go. You can see how the two colors work together. Eh. Some unique options here. Mostly, nah. Eyeliner. I, I, I mention this almost every time. I, I mention this almost every time. It's just that I'm not I'm not usually impressed by makeup options in character creators. It's something that I feel like they have to work really hard on to impress me. And it's not that I'm like snooty or snobby with that. It's more just that in most cases it ends up looking tacky and you need a really deft hand, a deft touch to make it look good. Uh, and sometimes that's not the case, okay? Sometimes they, they implement it in, in a super elegant fashion. And it, it ends up being, you know, something that just works and fits and looks good. But more often than not, it's it's not the case. More often than not, you can try, you can try, you can try. Uh, and it just doesn't end up being anything that, that actually fits. So, lipstick. Let's take the full lip and let's look at the colors. Hey, if we're going for a gray theme, why not gray? You can turn the gloss up. The glass looks nice. I, I think it always looks nice. Not a lot of styles here, uh, but sure, let's go for this one. Or that one. 
Okay, clothes. Zoom out. He's a decent looking character. I mean, the face is beautiful. Like, there's just, there's no two ways about it. That face is fantastic. Outer way. Let's see if there's something unique here to this empire. I don't know if Kaldor, like, mm, Kaldor, Kaldor have something unique. They, they, they like their blue jackets. That's for sure. They do. I'm sorry, they were distracting me. I had to click on them. <laughs> you guys understand. Let's take the blue jackets here. I mean, I have to take it off now anyway to see the tops. I wonder if they have a t-shirt with a picture on. The last two that we've checked out, Minmatar and Galente, have both had t-shirts with pictures on. And said t-shirts with pictures on were probably my favorite. Yeah, dude, their colors and the color schemes that you get to choose from here, much more standard, basic. Like a black shirt, yeah, sure, black shirt, uh, blue, blue jacket, sure, sure, sure. Maybe a gray shirt, blue jacket. It's it's cool. With the shirts, once again, you can uh, change the tuck. Although I feel like for whatever reason, this doesn't suit the character very well. Anyway, it's it's fine. And the pants, you can also change the way the shirt tucks in over here, so you can see the belt or not. Uh, for this purposes of the video, we'll show the belt. I think I just saw some white pants there. Oh, it's not allowing me to show the belt. There. Okay. Uh, no, that one's not so good, wait. Uh, that's the only one. There we go. Okay. Hmm. That might be the lightest pants. I'm going to show you guys how you actually see your character when you're in the game. Uh, I think these ones fit quite nicely. There you go. Uh, it, it's it's cool, the way, the way your character is presented. It's not as cool as it was. Uh, but I know that it's changed. So the thing with, with EVE Online is that the game has evolved so much over the years. And, and like it's changed so much that, that what I thought was, was the thing and what I thought was real and, and in the game back then is not so much like that anymore. Uh, and, 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 and that's fine. It's good. It's grown. I didn't realize you could take your shoes off. Wow. Okay. Uh, it's changed. Uh, but, but you don't have that system anymore where you actually take a character and like put it in a photo booth and then take a shot of it and i and i understand why now because before you made all these changes you spent all this time on your character only to have it never move in the game only to have that one static shot of it now that's not the case anymore now you actually have your character move in uh, you have your character sort of interactable you have new outfits you can put on it uh, they've sort of monetized that aspect of the game completely and and while i'm not a huge fan of of like going crazy with cosmetic uh, DLC and stuff like that. I think it's a it's the lesser of many evils, and it's a it's a pretty uh, decent system to have in a game like this. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's do the body the eyebrows. Yeah, we looked at those now. Nose. Yeah, I mean these are fine. These are the same ones we saw in all the others. They're okay. Ears high. Same ones on the other side, I think. Yeah. That's the same one on the other side. Okay. 33. So, these, some of these might be unique. Like, like not all, but some. Like, I think I saw that this, the earlier ones there look different. But not much. Just a bit different. Man, like, I, I must tell you guys, it's, it's quite a, a pleasure going through all these character creation systems and, and like, seeing how all these different games do things differently. Uh, it, it, it truly, like, it just shows you how every one of these devs has different ideas of, like, how things should look, how things should be. Every different game world has different options available based on the different races, empires, factions. Uh, it, it's, it's actually really, it's cool. And I mean, obviously, you guys get to experience it as well if you watch these videos. But, like, it, it has been cool to see all the different stuff that these people do. And, and how sometimes a little bit of creativity can push one system so far ahead of any other system. Uh, that, like, it, it, it's not even really a competition anymore. I've seen some really good character creators out there. And, and unfortunately, it does not always carry over to being, like, you know, in any way uh, impactful on the game. You know, you could make, like the most awesome character creation system in your game can still suck balls and, you know, whatever. 
but but still it's it's cool to see thank you for coming along on this journey chin one day we'll have done every character creator in the world <laughs> maybe that'll be my goal uh, catch them all do them all yeah yeah okay tattoos this is the interesting part I, I think it's gonna be very downplayed and simple and basic but let's see oh yeah dude are these like basically barcodes wow yeah 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 dude this speaks to me greatly this this is what i'd expect from the faction that we're looking at right now yeah kaldari holy crap well done ccp well done this just makes sense that's what i thought they would have yeah huh okay because like once again here's the the scar over here the scars are like really boring man uh once again you you want it to be like uh, not i'm not gonna say symbolic of the of the empire that you're choosing uh but like you want it to be at least uh, a, a little bit representative of of your of your choice uh, and and to be honest if you pick in these guys who seem to be all business uh and and all like all work all military then like that's the kind of tattoo you'd expect right that is exactly the one that you'd expect i like it huh cool yeah i'm impressed i mean it's like a really minor yeah wow this just in lumen impressed by a couple of shapes put together on a forehead <laughs> I mean, yes, I am, because it's more the idea and the implementation of it. That's the thing. It's it's the idea and the implementation. It's the fact that they understand that you don't need to put tribal tattoos on every single empire, you know? Like, who needs more tribal tattoos? Not me. Enough with the tribal tattoos, you know? Enough. So, so yeah, I, I much respect to these guys. It's cool. It's well done. Here we go. Take this one. Kind of works. It's well done. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Yeah, this is a pretty unique character that I've made here. Like, this is not bad, right? R right? <laughs> I know this is not going to be everyone's cup of tea. Okay. I know. I know. I know. But, like, it's a cool character. It's kind of nice. Okay. Let's jump into the males. That was cool. That was fun. That was nice. I think the males are going to be better, though. <laughs> man like just just comparing what i made there to this yeah i think it's i think it's a pretty decent system okay kaldari male hello this guy let's actually just go with this straight up boom uh we're gonna look at his body shape first take the clothes off man take the clothes off you get to change the muscularity boom yeah wait boom uh, like at a certain point the weight like just completely removes the muscles uh, but if you if you like get it in a nice balance like there then there's more muscles than if you go down here look it's like there's a sweet spot where it's like full muscle it's right there that's the sweet spot then you can actually also sculpt a little bit and and like get a little bit more weight in there get a little bit more definition and and whatever else uh it, it's it's cool it's cool it's cool it's cool it's cool you know it's cool so the sculpting system uh, much as I've shown in the previous uh, factions, empires, sorry, I like change the name that I use for that every single time. The sculpting system allows for a whole lot of, of cool customization. You can just sort of grab a piece and sort of, you know, twerk it around a little bit, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can modify things. And the body, it changes like dynamically. Like look at the veins and stuff. So they pop more when you, when you push the weight up more. Uh, it looks nice. It looks good. Like the legs specifically... When you push the muscles up there, it looks really good. Um, these guys understand how bodies look, and I like that. I respect that. Uh, but, yeah, like, unfortunately, the body's frame is basically what it is. Uh, so there's not too much you can change on it. Uh, you've got a posterior dimension set in. You've got a waist set in. The waist set in is more impactful on the females. Uh, boobs, yeah, I mean, shit, also more impactful on the females. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, same system is available on the face exact same system uh, but before we get to that let's look at the complexion you get to change your complexion you get to look the way you want to look and that's that 
yeah, it all works, to be honest. Uh, you can do anything. I'm going to pick the one that they wanted me to pick. Aging. Uh, you can age a little bit. Or you can age a lot. I'm now mentioning that this does work on the body. So if you like sort of, uh, you know, do this, then I mean, you, you say this is zero muscularity, but this is, a, this is a fit old man, okay? He's not that older man, but like this guy's fit, okay? Like, like that. you can say what you want. This is full weight. Even if you do that, even if you do that, this is still a pretty decent looking fellow here. I mean, look at those arms. Good Lord. I mean, he might be skipping the ab days and the core days and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, but he's, he's definitely hitting the bicep curls, this guy. Doesn't really matter what you do. Like, the body still looks pretty good, okay? Doesn't matter what you do. I respect that, too. <laughs> These are clones. These are spaces. These are guys that have a new body printed every time they die. They have actually got no excuse to, uh, to look bad. Look, because we made a, a old character in the previous one on the females. Let's just make something sort of in between on the males. Uh, let's see. Zoom in. So, as I was saying, the facial sculpting is the same as the, the body sculpting, except obviously different. You get to pick a little piece on the face and you get to modify it. Uh, you can see, like, the, the, the templates that they give you for the faces, which are determined by the bloodline you pick, they are unique. They are different. No other male had this little, like, what is this even called? This little uh, valley here on the nose where their brows meet. Like, like this is... is pretty fantastic i need to get the terminology down like if i'm making character creation videos the whole time i need to know what that's called uh, but but like it, this is a unique looking face oh my god those are teeny weeny little ears <laughs> yeah let's do it let's do it um it, it's it's like it's something that they offer you unique on this uh, specific bloodline and 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 honestly it works because once again uh you you pick in this bloodline for its visual appeal and that's the only real reason to take it uh, so you can look different and unique and whatever so we, we were talking about the jaw earlier let's not mess around with it then there we go that's yeah i mean that's quite something dude are you busy making american dad here i think small lips make sense on this guy big nose yeah yeah it, so it can take a hit if it wants to and the eyes so like you you again i want to mention like you have control right a lot of control but but you can't go too far outside the bounds of and it's not reality it's it's what they want you to like you know they don't want it to look like a clown fiesta in eve online you know and i get that i get that so this is already like this is kind of cool it's kind of cool yeah so you get to sculpt it as much as you'd like uh, then we're going to move on to the eyes this setting right here is just your iris and pupil, and it's also like the little uh, constellation effect that they put inside the eye there. I don't know what it's called, uh, but you get to basically change how that looks. On the lighter colors, you can see sort of more what it looks like inside there. Some of them look like snowflakes. Some of them look like little milky ways. Uh, some of them like other stuff, uh, and it's cool. It's nice. Eye colors. Nothing crazy. I mention this every time, but like I'd love something more. Like, Cyberpunk had a fantastic system. I, I go on about Cyberpunk systems so much, right? So much. But Cyberpunk really had a nice system where, where they gave you unique options and interesting options. And uh, they gave you the, the like opportunity to like really express yourself with this stuff. And I made some pretty unique stuff in there, and I enjoyed it a lot. Hey. Hey. Oh, God. The disappointment. Here it comes. Not disappointed about the hair. I'm disappointed about the lack of beards. <laughs> it's like, I see it coming already. Uh, let's pick this on lighter and let's pick this on darker and let's see how it looks. I do not know if we're going to have unique styles here. Like, these already look kind of unique. I don't know. I don't know if they are unique. Couldn't tell you. It's possible. But no long styles, which does irk me a little bit. Uh, this guy, it's, he sort of does, this, this, this hairstyle does suit him. He does work with this. So we'll take that. Dark, dark. Uh, the colors that you get to choose between here, they are fine. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's like, that's literally all I have to say about them. They, they, they don't change much. They have a lot of brown tones here that look almost the same. There are a few lighter ones. Uh, but there's nothing like out there and crazy, you know. 
uh, but that's again it's sort of a based in reality kind of system they have a nice red here they have a nice orange here and they have a nice blue here uh, that that's about it if you're looking for something like wild right uh, and and i think that anything else you're going to want will most likely come from in game uh, so for this guy we're going to take the dark hair and we're going to just go with that uh, this like as much as i fiddled with his face and and like i pulled the nose to its maximum size right it cannot go bigger than this this is the biggest the nose can go i'm trying to stretch it and as much as i've changed that can i tell you guys this actually looks really good like this is a decent looking character Eyebrows. Sure. Beards. Here we go. Prepare yourselves. Yeah, I mean, they look okay on this guy, but like the texture work that they used on the beard sucks. And it, it's like, it looks like it's distorting along with the, so it's, it's stuck to the texture of the face. It's not its own thing, you know? And I think that's where they went wrong. And that's why it looks so, so, ugh, you know? That's why I honestly, if I had to make a male character, I'd go as far as stubble and that's that's about it. But hey, you can put beards on, you can change the color if you'd like on the beards. It's it's basically locked to um, the, I think it's locked to this one. Yeah, it's locked to this one and you can do what you want with it. But again, I, I, I don't personally like it very much. I think it's a system that really could use a bit of work. Anyway, eye details. This is just a bit of... <sighs> I mean, on male, what do you even call it? It's not mascara. It's not really blush. It's just a bit of some color there. <laughs> There's the lash thickness. Not really the lash thickness. Okay. I don't know what this is meant to really be, but like, it's not the lash thickness. It's also just a bit of like powder there. So cheek color. They mean to say blush. That's what they mean to say. You can put a bit of blush on your guy. Doesn't really change much. And then lip tone. It can be skin colored or, or skin colored. Or it can be, you know, like a little blue if you're getting cold. Maybe that's the idea behind that, but it's only a little blue. Clothes. Here we go. This guy's going to fill this up. He looks like he has a really big head. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, do I need to make the body like a little bit more... Uh... I don't... There we go. The shoulders. Can we pull this in? Or is it because of the weight? There we go. Okay. Yeah, he's still got a pretty big head. Okay, layers. Let's do this. These are nice. A bit reminiscent of the Amar outfits that we had, but not exactly the same. I do once again appreciate the fact that the Amar had some uh, unique robes and stuff. I feel like the others are not getting as much in terms of unique stuff. They have a mid layer here. Uh, top layer. The muscly man, like, the fact that his body is so big and muscly, it really fills out these shirts quite nicely. It, it makes all those hours in the gym worth it, doesn't it? Mmm, mmm. I mean, he looks good. Like, like, cheese, man. Needless to say, this guy looks good. Let's put just like a regular... Yeah, that shirt. There you go. Bottom. With a shirt, you can, you can change the tuck. It doesn't change much, as you can see over here, but it's whatever. It's whatever. You want to show the belt? You can show the belt. It works. Well, I mean, you have to do it like that, but... Whoa! Is it just me or those, like, really high up? Okay, whatever. Screw the belt. The pants. Yeah, I like these, like, hardcore combat pant type things. These things, these things. And these ones. Where it, like, it almost looks like a suit of SWAT armor, uh, but but not. This my, Personally, that's my favorites. These ones. They, they really like, they look good, uh, nice and bulky, good color, uh, and then you get boots to match that, and then you're good to go, man. So, I, again, I can confirm that there are outfits and stuff you can buy in the store, in-game. And at the end of this video, which is coming up very soon, I'm going to show you guys a few of those options. Those boots are sick. Those are really nice. Okay, I wear. Wait a second. My curiosity compels me. Was there eyewear on the females? These are unique. I've never seen these before. These are different. The shape is different. But was there eyewear on the females? I feel like I either missed it or there wasn't eyewear. These are all the same, but the shape is different. See, it's not, it's not so droppy on the others. 
Once I'm done here, I'm gonna actually just quickly, for my own curiosity and and so I can feel bad about missing it, I'm gonna jump into the females again quickly and I'm gonna see. These are the eyebrow piercings. Yeah, the males have some really cool shit here, man. Ooh, I like that. Females don't have that. Let's put the let's put the spikes on. Yeah, man. Now, why don't they give us like long, heavy metal? Uh, where's this going? Oh, it's the nose. No, it's it doesn't. You can't see it. What? <laughs> it's under his skin. Oh my god. It's 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 supposed to be there. Oh wow. Uh, yeah, why why don't they give us like some long heavy metal hair to go with this man? Like like where where where's it at? You know? Where's it at? Where's my heavy metal hair at? Yeah, this guy's just really good looking, man. Ugh. Why you gotta be so good looking, man? It's on both sides. Lips. Far fewer than on the females, but... Oh, wait. No, no, no. Not far fewer. It's the same amount. Um, I thought I thought it was less. It's actually the same amount. Okay. Sure, let's put those on. No, actually, you know what? These things look good. We don't need the lip stuff. Chin. We'll put the same ones that we have on the top on the chin. These things. Yeah, you see? You see? It kind of sinks into the face a little bit because of the way that I've made his chin look. Yeah, yeah. Okay, tattoos. Uh, big fan of these tattoos, as I mentioned before. I think they look great. Oh, I forgot to change the color on the females as well. Man, you know, it's difficult to <laughs> it's difficult to remember all these things. Uh, it's fine. I'm going to jump back there quickly to have a look. I'm going to put a tattoo on this guy, sure. There's not a huge amount in terms of the selection, but like something like that looks kind of nice. Although I prefer this, to be honest. Yeah, this one. Here we go. Scars. Yeah, my least favorite category. Here we go. The eye scars, the lip. It's just... They, oh, man. If they had made them slightly more visible. Just a little bit. I'm surprised these... Well, that's actually very visible. Like, for whatever reason, on this guy's skin, this one looks really good. But this is more realistic, right? And, and like, you know... You know, a scar... Even when it's fresh, then it might look like like really obvious, and you might see it quite easily. But like, you know, it, after it's been a little while, after it's been a few years or decades or whatever, uh, and after you've been through a couple of cloning and recloning cycles, uh, obviously it it won't be that visible anymore, and you won't see it anymore. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how it works, but but I, I guess it does. There's a reason, and it does make sense. You know, there's a reason, and it makes sense. Up here and up there. Okay, so that's the scars. Now, what I want to do is, I just want to quickly go back to the females because that's male done, right? That's male done. Uh, it, it's yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Like if I'd put that jacket back on quickly. There you go. It's a it's a cool looking character. Sure, 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 sure. It's a it's a cool looking character. Uh, but I'm gonna go back to female quickly, and. I just want to see if they actually had... They had eyewear, I just didn't see it. Oh no. Okay. Well, the thing is, the males, it is different. But this is the same eyewear as every other one. Okay, okay. Cool. Uh, I just didn't see it. My bad, my bad, my bad. Now I'm going to go back, right? So, this brings us to the final part of the character creation video. I know, I know. He says 10 hours later. <laughs> but... The system that they had in the game before that I was expecting to find here, I think I mentioned it three or four times throughout this video already, is no longer with us. It's been changed because when you're in-game now, and I'll put an example up on your screens, you don't actually have a static image of your character anymore. Your character is actually there in the flesh, if you know what I'm saying, if you, if you understand my, my, my meaning. You can actually see a, a, a model of your character, which is, is infinitely better. 
and that's why they don't have this system anymore. Now, I'm assuming that you can in-game at, at some point or somehow get different ways to customize the visual style of your character's appearance. And I mean like the visual style of your character's appearance in the character sheet. Maybe you can change the background there. Maybe you can change the uh, the effect, the lighting, stuff like that. I don't know much about it because I haven't played much of the game in recent years. But the system of the photo booth is gone. So I was going to show that now, but it's not here anymore. However, there's one last step that you go through when you make in your character. It's the name in process, and it's the selection of basically your character's education. Now that is different on each of these uh, different empires. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go on Amar first. I'm trying to remember sort of like how, what the order was. Uh, and then we're going to customize. And then we're going to be like, yeah, wow, ooh, geez, we did such a great job. Next. <laughs> then uh, you're going to see there's your character. Okay. And, and like, you don't get to, you know, I can't move this around. You don't get to change this, but you do get to choose your education. Uh, and then the idea behind this is just that it, and this is again, as far as I understand, changes the skills that you're going to be starting with, or at least the path that you can take for your skills. Even though once again, this is a very big and open game and the way that they let you progress through it is super free like once you're done with a little tutorial bit they give you quests and stuff but they suggestions more than anything you can like just do whatever you want you know this is a very open game uh, but yeah so here on amar you get to choose your education as military institute imperial academy rooted in tradition the imperial academy is the premier military school in amar empire you get to choose advanced exploration uh, this is the hedian university its exploration division is known for its multidisciplinary approach to celestial exploration. Then you get to choose Center for Industrial Studies, the Royal Amar Institute. It's the institute renowned across New Eden for its business and economic programs. Yeah, then you get to choose a name. Names are great in this uh, because they are basically also once again free in how you do them. You can have a single word, you can have a surname, you can have three words if you want. And they can be mega long. So, yeah. You can go crazy with that. Uh, so that's Amar. And, and this is the same across the bloodlines. Uh, this is just for, for each of these empires. Now we'll go to Galente. That was our second. We'll customize. We'll look what they've got. Here you get to pick the Division of Warfare. Federal Navy Academy. The Federal Navy Academy is a military training ground for all aspiring Galente cadets. This is the School of Exploration. University of Kale. The University of Kale's School of Exploration is one of the most renowned graduate schools in New Eden. Then, Industrial Institute Center for Advanced Studies. This is with the focus on research and development. The Center for Advanced Studies Industrial Institute produces future Galente industrialists. You can see a sort of common theme where this is concerned, right? You can see the theme. You basically pick in what, what seems to be combat, exploration, or... The last one is sort of a little bit more murky to me because I don't understand the game as well, but business, I'd say. It's the same kind of thing. Like, you know, tech, business, and trading, that kind of stuff. Uh, industry Division, Paytor Tech School. Paytor Tech School's in, uh, Industry Division is well regarded for its interdisciplinary approach to commerce and manufacturing. Center for Combat Studies, R Republic Military School. Uh, this school's curriculum stresses creative problem-solving techniques to produce some of the cluster's most innovative military minds. And then Exploration. Institute for Exploration, the Republic University. The University's Institute of Exploration is known for its pioneering research in the field of astroarchaeology. Oh, kind of cool. Okay. You heard it now. Astroarchaeology. And then the final one we're going to have a look at is the Kaldari. Here we go. Combat Pilot Center, State War Academy. The State War Academy produces the finest pilots in the Kaldari State. Academy for Exploration, Science and Trade Institute. They known for pioneering research in the field of celestial exploration, same as the other guys, I think. Department of Industry, School of Applied Knowledge. The School of Applied Knowledge is renowned for its business school, uh, equipping future industrialists with the expertise needed to excel. So I read all of those to you now, but you can quite clearly tell that there's a common theme between them and they are the same. It's one of three choices uh, and, and they're important choices, but they are just, you know, they're the same across all the empires. Now, that's the basic 
rundown of what's available in EVE Online's character creator. At the end here, I'm going to say that they have an in-game store, which I actually just this morning visited. I, I peeked at it. I looked what's available there. And there's some pretty cool stuff available there. Like, uh, there's insane stuff that, that is pretty much what I wanted to see here in character creation. Uh, but now that they've made this game free to play, you obviously have to understand, I guess, that they want to try and get their income and their revenue from other sources. They want, uh, you know, people to buy microtransactions and stuff like that. It's understandable. I get it. It's the lesser of many evils, as I've mentioned in the video a few times. But I've, I'll put a preview up of the stuff that you can buy in there. You can buy ship skins and you can buy uh, character skins and outfits and stuff like that. I'm not sure what other customization goodies you can get on there, but the store is chock full of stuff. And it's once again a free game, so you can just jump in and give it a peek. And at the end of all of this, I'm going to say, hey, thank you for making it through this video. If you are somehow here at the end of it and you've watched all of it, uh, damn, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're amazing. Uh, I appreciate you watching all of it and sticking through this with me. And hey, check back here soon for more. Share this video around, give it a like and, and whatever else. Uh, send your appreciation on over to CCP because they've done a great job here and the game itself is amazing. This is like the one game that is constantly uh, somewhere in the back of my mind. You know, it lives there. It's like this one game that I've always wanted to really get into, but I'm scared to do because it's so big and daunting. But hey, there you go. Happy EVE Online character creation. Happy that.